Okay. Okay, uh, oops, actually, I didn't actually link the music. Let me do it real quick. Okay, music is linked in chat now, and we're just gonna get started right now. I have to look at my water. <laughs> but I'll say, uh, we're gonna take a start, start off. So, uh, for this game, as I obviously should know, I'm ill prepared for this, so I want to run a second game. Uh, but to get this started right now, we'll make it very, very quick. I did roll for a, a random uh, how you all met. And so, what I rolled was you all were captured by an adventurer. So, we're gonna start the game right there. So, pretty much, uh, very, very brief, quick history about the world, as I know Bear, or, uh, Jericho explain is that about five years ago, the blood mist ended up lifting out of the the lands. For what you all know is that you cannot extend usually about half a day's travel from any type of settlement because once night fell, you're in the mist, no one ever really returns. There are a couple of people in a religious cult or relig religious organization that actually could move. The Rust Brothers could actually move through the mist. Most of them. There's actually a trial by the Rust Brothers to actually not die in the mist. No one knows what the myth. No one knows what the mist was. What caused it? All I know is that people died inside it once night fell. So travel between cities was pretty much non-existent, as well as trade. Everyone had to kind of survive on their own because they couldn't trade for anything. So five years ago, the mist all of a sudden, for whatever reason, just lifted, which allowed people to now explore pretty much the entire landscape and start trade with other towns and cities. This is where you all come in. So, we are together today. You find yourselves inside a glade, a forest glade to be precise. You're all bound and shackled. Now we'll say bound, I'll say shackles. You're all bound because, well, an individual, a group of individuals decided to take you for unknown reasons. It could be for a slave trade, it could be for just to kill you, take your possessions, because all your possessions are no longer on you. They include your silver, your weapons, because, well, you're prisoners of this individual. But, as all enemies to heroes find out, they're ill-prepared and they undervalue the existence of the hero's presence. But you're not all heroes, you're all enemies. So what we could say is that all of you have encountered each other in the midst of a, we could say a battle or you encountered each other's villages or homes or estates, how y'all met resulted in a fight in a battle. And it was a game of cat and mouse to pretty much find each other to kill each other and in the midst of this battle is where this group of people assailed you and knocked you all out. Took you all into, not say custody, but they bound you, tied you in rope, hogtied some of you. You did kill a couple of them in the, in the resulting battle. But once the dust settled, you all found yourselves awakening, blood caked to your heads where you're all knocked out in the midst of that battle and you wake up now inside this clearing it is a bit towards we'll say dusk and there's a campfire burning we have one of the individuals sitting there <laughs> wow okay she was just chilling in the backyard and my mom opened the door he just walked in that piece of shit <laughs> Sorry. Please so, you find yourselves currently tied. All of you are laying on the ground on your side while this individual is currently smoking, cooking some meat over a, a campfire that he has set up. You do know that there are a couple other individuals, just seeing the general belongings around the area, there is more equipment, there's more, we'll say, not tents, but a sleeping bag um, for roughly two to three more individuals, although they are currently not within the campsite as you secretly open your eye to take a look around the area. So. As all great games are started, I'm asked the question is, what do you 
do? My first question is, do I know what happened to my horse? Your horse, your trusty steed that you have been using for the last, we'll say, four months, was mm -hmm. killed in the midst of battle. Oh. As you went to charge down, we'll say, choose either Grissom or Vanagon Deer. Um, I guess it's Vanagon. Alright, so as you are charging down Vanagon to stab him with your short spear, one of his other companions ended up impaling your horse. And you both went down to the heap in the midst of the battle between you and actually Vanagon and you were actually fighting. Or Vanagon, you were fighting when we could say a, a spell overtook the group of you and uh, you're not awakening. Sad. Vanagon Deer is just screaming curses at his current captors and the halfling that he's unfortunately tied to. <laughs> so after, <laughs> after, after the first of minute words. of the happening, um, you were slugged in the face and, and pretty much gagged with a, uh, a cloth. A, a dirty cloth rag. <laughs> he, keeps, he keeps screaming into the rag. And at that point, it's muffled, though, so they don't really care. <laughs> yeah, but it's just... I'm just gonna... You know what? Like, I, I, meant to, I meant to think up an actual name, but now I'm just gonna keep the name Ryder. That's literally what this halfling is gonna be called now. It's Ryder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Me pa was a writer. Me grandpa was a writer. Me grandpa was a writer. <laughs> Yeah, so Ryder is just kind of <laughs> he's just rolling his eyes because this is ridiculous. <laughs> and why do I have to be tied to this oversized dog? Oh, you're not tied to him. You're all individually uh, bound no, by yourself. The, oh, I thought we were yeah. all tied up. Oh, oh no, no, no. That, that was the joke we just made, is that we were we were wrapped with each other. Okay, then yes, you and uh, <laughs> Vanagin are tied together. But um, we'll say Grissom's by himself. Just, like, thrashing <laughs> scream. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> so you two are back to back. One of you is definitely smaller than the other because one's a halfling, one's a wolfkin. Yeah, um, yep. With every like thrash, the halfling just gets yanked off the ground. <laughs> in fact, I think at one point Vanagon decided to actually. At first, they just bound. Maybe you're. Maybe he didn't tie the the leggings closed enough, and so Vanagon's actually able to get up and start running with a backpack size rider on him. <laughs> You're not riding a horse anymore. <laughs> Before you were brought back to the camp and then thoroughly hogtied from <laughs> the amusement of these uh, these captors. Uh, Vanagondir is tied just about every way it's possible to tie a bike. Pretty much. Which also means your escape is going to be even more uh, more difficult for that little situation. But um, what has Grissom been doing this entire time as he's kind of just been probably eyeing uh, these two individuals, and obviously, you're all enemies, so Grissom had a run-in with uh, both of you, or one of you. Probably me. <laughs> I got no qualms with Aft. Then it would be Vanagon also. So Vanagon wants to piss off everyone. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna... I'll have been the, the model model prisoner just to see if I could have gotten less tied up. Um, but I'll start working on the uh, the bonds. All right, I'll say because a lot of the attention by his people were drawn to Vanagon and his just chaotic, stupid, not stupid, let me rephrase that. His, um, I apologize for that. His chaotic, just, his insufferable scre <coughs> screaming he was doing. If he kind of left you mostly alone, they pretty much believe that you have been fully tied there, Grissom. So, you can try to get out. Um, this goblin. I'm not sure if that Sticky Sticky was for right now, or if that was earlier, you doing a roll. Oh, it was earlier. Okay, so I'm actually going to clear chat right now then, so. <clears throat> okay, so we're clearing chat. I just want to say that um, while uh, Vanagon is being insufferable, Ryder is actually trying to be good. <laughs> He's just strapped to the worst prisoner in the world. Yeah, basically. He's trying to make up for it in contrast, but because of the fact he's strapped to you, I don't have the opportunity to try to get out. So we have different levels of tide here. <laughs> <laughs> different levels of restraint. 
All right. So, Grissom, you're going to try to test your bond, see if you can get out of these? Mm-hmm. Let's see. What I'm would... Flip out. What skill would that be under? Uh, I wonder what the hand would be. Probably slide of hand, maybe move. Uh, you know what? Since you actually are trying to move, let's go ahead and use that. Let's go ahead and use move. Maybe you can try to wiggle your way, uh, your way, wiggle your way free. So, do you know how to do you know how to build a dice pool? Nope. Okay. So here's what y'all need to do. You are, and see, all of you are gonna do a couple uh, steps on this process right now. So all of you should have the the row of dice on the bottom of the screen. Mm -hmm. The D6 is gonna be the important one. So right click that D6 to where you see the custom dice uh, riddle icon will be the top left one. Click on that, you're gonna see a row of the white, red, and the black dice. These are your attribute dice, your skill dice, and your gear dice, as well as the D60 on the bottom. So click on the white attribute dice and drop that into your hockey bar underneath it. So pretty much put it underneath the dice pool. Do that for each of the dice. So your hockey bar for one, two, three, or two, three, four, how you want to do it is going to have one each of the white, the red, and the black dice. Now they do not color themselves when you put them in them. Uh, just type it out. Right click it and go to um, rename. Because then you can pick them up awesome. and right click to add more dice and then drop it into the dice pool and then double click that to roll. Let me do a quick test roll. Wait, how do I? Yep, that was correct. Oh. Um, because the four actually is correct because uh, it's white. So, but in this game, all of the yep, so that'd be one success. Mm -hmm. So how do I? How do I pick up multiple dice? So uh, drag you... click out, so you have one in your hand, and then right click your mouse button. Ah, it increases it by one each time. Mm -hmm. So here's my ability, but hers, there's no fancy sheet rolling for this one? Uh, there actually is. Um, if you go into your character sheet where it has the main tab where it says frequently used rolls, you can actually build them in there. But the reason why I kind of keep it um, not really populated is because of the fact that when you take damage, you actually use your oh, new attribute, that's why. I forgot. So for pristine stats, we could probably use that. Uh, but once combat starts happening, once you start getting yeah, lower in skills, get it, yeah. Get it. I get you. So, I got one success. All right. Now, this is important, though, uh, Jericho, when you do this, is you have to do all at one stream because the pushing mechanic has to have all done in one line. But as it is, you did get one success. So, all this means is for you to succeed at a task in this game, all you have to do is get one success, which is a six on the dice, or in this case, it'll be the cross swords in the game. So, in the midst of this individual over the campfire cooking his, his meal, which you can see it'll be, it looks like a... It's a few stacks of rabbits he's currently cooking over the fire. He goes, SHUT UP OVER THERE! As he kind of yells at Vanagon. Uh, you quietly sit there and struggle against your bonds, Grissin. And after about five minutes, you're able to pluck whatever hands free from the bindings and very, very quickly remove, if you so wish. So, I'll go back to you. Well, the, it is, you are free of the binds, um, but you have to have to untangle yourself from them. But I'll see how you want to how you want to um, continue forward. So, what do you do? I'll, I'll get my hands out and then hold them right behind me. So I okay. still look like, and then kind of w wiggle over to the, uh, the struggling tool. Okay. Glad Thrush is quiet. I'm out. <laughs> we don't need it away. When we come back, we kill Gizmo. Yes? Funagandir, like, stops, considers, and then says something into the into the rag. Ryder is just looking between the two of them, like, not saying anything. He actually wants to look around if you agree. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Can you say that again? Hitty Hafflin wants on the ground, if you agree. 
Uh, <laughs> Vanagandir, like, he's sitting up right now, so the halfling is, like, just sitting barely up. sitting on the ground, and Vanagandir just, like, pulls his whole body forward and then rocks back onto the halfling. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> Ryder is just scram is just like squirming underneath him, can't get free. Oh, it's up for the last time to quit the damn noise! As the guy gets up and this time he has a he picks up a club off the ground, which is just a glorified tree stick that's been uh mm -hmm. de stemmed of Man, I can't think of all words today. Um branches oh, just be big de branched. As he comes yeah, over right. and he he comes over, he's about to well on Vanagon. Can uh, I, from could underneath, I just, oh, sorry. sorry, I was just going to say, since I'm, like, against an actual flat surface now, can I try to wiggle myself free as well? Why well, you're actually underneath, and out of, you're pretty much going to be out of sight, because you're yeah. pretty much being forced into the ground. Yeah. The ground's a bit soft, and so you're kind of getting buried down to the ground, um, Ryder. Go ahead and do the same thing, so you're going to build a, we'll do a move roll. So how do I do that? <clears throat> Okay, so, uh, switch to character sheet real quick. So, uh -huh. your agility is three. Mm -hmm. So, drop in three of the attribute or white dice into the dice pool. Uh, uh, okay, oh, so, oops. so white are attribute, red are skill, and no, black are gear? I know gear. that, but where, where do I person? get these dice from? Yeah, remember I told you uh, to right-click the D6 on the, the bottom and drop those to your hotkey bar? Yeah, so right-click the D6, uh, hit custom dice, get one of each, put it down on the hotkey bar. Oh, okay. And then rename and real then quick to the attribute, skill, and gear. What they are. Custom. Wait, they don't... Oh, Jesus. That's... No. Once you roll them... See, that's actually... Them. That, that's skill dice, so... Yeah. So okay. what you then do Three. is you then drag them into the dice pool and double-click the dice pool once to you roll it. the dice fully built to roll okay, the, the whole set. once they're in the hot bar, how do I differentiate? Drag them off. Click and drag. Um, or right-click it and go to rename. Right-click and go to rename. Right-click, edit, label, and then you can just name them. Okay, so... So white are what? Attribute. White are attribute, red are skill, and black are gear. Okay. I'm not sure how you add them all to one line. I can't get that to work. Oh, you just uh, add to the dice pool. Put all, all, all the dice pool. Oh, I see. Red or skill and black or what? Gear. 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 Okay. Let me just so, make sure I'm doing these right. So yeah. first, while the halfling is doing this, can I just flex out of my <laughs> out of my ropes? Just like break them. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's gonna be a might. But I'm gonna do this at uh at a higher difficulty, so at minus two. So what this does? <laughs> yeah. So what this is gonna mean is, what's your what's your melee? What's your might skill? Might, uh, three. Okay, so it's gonna be one might instead of three. Okay, so cool. That's one success. And, okay, so, let's go and talk about this real quick, uh, the pushing mechanic. So even though you did roll one success, which is, a, which is a success, you roll two skulls. Now, these skulls only come into play if you push your character, and we'll explain that when it comes to that relevance, but right now, you do succeed, with no what drawback. Is pushing? Yeah. So pushing allows you to re-roll the dice. It re-rolls all the failures, except for the skulls. They stay there. Ah, uh, okay. And it, it, on the note, if you have, if you roll a skull on your skill die, you still re-roll those. This, any skulls okay. on your skill don't affect you. Yes, that's true. But well, there, there, if you look, there's, there's no skulls on the uh, on the red dice. That's why. So. Oh, but do skulls on attributes on attribute dice like make you take damage to the yes stat, to that attribute that you use. If you push your if you push your character, now, you add, now here's why you want to push. Um, it's two reasons. Because you One, roll everything. Yes, but also you gain willpower for every skull you have. Now, if you look at your character sheet, a lot of your abilities uh, require willpower to use. So you take a big L, but in the future you cannot take a big L. Uh, yeah. I, also, as a note, this ah, is phone call. I'll be back. Okay, uh, oh, so... also, real quick, uh, I just want to establish the relationship that uh, Ryder is the weak link of the group. Can I teach them? No. <laughs> what? Well, uh... It's a relationship thing you have to build. Mm. I just got, I just got free. Like, fuck you. <laughs> and let's see, let's see. 
just skittered free in seconds. But Rider I guess is your name, you horrible know. green bastard. Yeah. I don't have to say anything, I just- I hate all of you and I want to be as far away as possible. Okay, Jig. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Grissin... is creepy. He must be up to no good. Oh, that's a sudden. <laughs> nah, Grissin has saved my life. Grissin has been convenient to me saving my life once. I mean, it is- I have already noting. repaid him. It is worth noting that since I'm free of my binds and we were bound together, you now have one less bind. Well, no, because because I assume you're just slipping out of your ropes, but I'm yeah. I'm assuming that we were tied together, but not like uh, the ropes were like weaved across us. I assume that like you were tied up and I was tied up. Sorry, that was uh, my business. All right, so what's the discussion going to hand right now? Oh, just how we were tied up. It's okay. Uh, so can I just flex out of these real quick? Yeah, so I'll be minus two. So minus two uh, skill dice. And yeah, go ahead so and do the roll. Just one. Bop. Oh! oh! Okay. <laughs> now, you can push this if you well, want. You, well, real quick, you, you didn't roll enough uh, skill dice. Uh, I meant minus two. Yeah. Oh, right. And I have might three. Uh, you have might three, then you should roll three white, not four. What? Well, the four is I have four reddish. strength and three might. And it's at minus two. Oh, so sorry, sorry, sorry. I was, I was confused about my strength. Never yeah. mind. So, yeah. So, you did fail. Um, unless you want to push it, but if you push a character, you're getting a lot of damage right here. If I um, push it down to one strength, I'm good, chief. Yeah. So, the way, so, say you did push for whatever reason. The way you would describe it is literally as you try to break free, you can't. And maybe, like, you dislocate a shoulder or you start digging the bindings of the rope into your skin. That's how we kind of fluff that. Um, as it is, no, you cannot get out of this. But. Um, Ryder, with you actually being pressed into the ground, it actually loosens the binding between you and him, and you're actually yes. able to get a hand free. Hey. And I assume I don't have access to any weapons. No. Uh, you all are tied, so you would not have weapons on you. And to prove that point, and with what, uh, Vanagin has been doing, the individual comes over. And even this is a guy is a human individual. He is filthy. He's got a bit of long, dreadlocked hair from not being washed over some time. You can smell just his his odor coming from his body. He's wearing just simple, actual, it looks like farmer clothing. Someone that maybe has gone to this life of work just to get away from maybe where he's been or just because he's kicked out of his village or what it is, we don't know. But he comes over with this this club, this tree branch, and he goes, you damned wolfkin, and he goes and... He just smacks um, Vanagin over the the head with his stick. I'm gonna keep just trying to wiggle free, like just trying to use my now free arm to try to pull any other parts free. So make it my notes real quick. So yeah, so Vanagin, you hear a whack and you see some blood trickle down your forehead now. Smaller request, can I just bite through the gag? Uh, no. Damn. Eh. Yeah, Vanagandir just keeps, like, cursing out his entire family line, but no one can hear. Yeah, and Ryder is just on the ground trying to wiggle free. Oh, no, you, at this point, you are able to actually, um, because you're, you're like, thoroughly buried into the ground behind Vanagandir's your halfling, and so yeah. he doesn't even see you at all, but you are able right. to get out of just by wiggling free, because you are a halfling, I mean, you're at, uh, you are sneaky yeah. folk. You actually are able to get your entire self free from the bindings as you're pretty much buried um, by the body of Vanagin. Now, Grissom, I think you said you wanted to... I think yeah, I interrupted you. Oh, I was going to get myself free, but keep it quiet. Yeah. Uh, let's do this then. Go ahead and give me a... We're going to do a stealth roll opposed to his uh, scouting. Okay. Sneaky sneak. Scouting is which so it's just gonna be My a dice straight. Keeps refilling itself for some reason. Uh, if you okay, roll it just to get rid of it. Or I think you have to right click and clear might do it. I keep clearing it and it keeps. Oh right, yeah, then just roll it. I think yeah, maybe it's a bug. This, I think, actually is my stealth, so it works on two, three, four, five, yeah. 
Success. <laughs> okay. And he does not see. So he is sitting there just kind of watching, and he's just kind of smiling, grinning over smacking uh, Vanagon Deer. And yeah, you get yourself completely free. And at this point, you're actually behind him. He kind of stepped over you or away from you. Has His back is towards you now at this point. I can't do shit. Um, <laughs> I, I look around for my things. Okay, so you start to sneak around, and you do see your belongings. All your belongings are in a small little pile, as well as from other people that this group of people have come across. And so in the midst of this, you do find all your belongings. In fact, your bow would probably be laying against a, a really close nearby tree that's propped up. Is this the only guy around? That you can see, yes. You do know there's more than one. <laughs> Okay. But currently his companions, you think there's about three of them. Currently his companions are not near, are not in the area. Okay. I'm going to sneak off, cry, and grab my bow and shoot this guy in the back of the head. Okay. Do we know where our stuff is taken? Because if so, I'm probably going to try to do the same thing and find my spear. But he's currently facing you, so... Vonnegandir just takes all the beating. <laughs> right, but I'm like... Uh, buried... I look at Vonnegandir in the air and just kind of fickle over my mouth. <laughs> and I, I guess off in a shooty motion. I guess can I try to make like a motion to Grizzin to get my weapon as well? <laughs> Is your pile driven into the ground? Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> He's facing you. You're in the ground. You do any movement outside of the the current cover of Vanagon, He's gonna see you. Fair enough. But he doesn't see that because you don't know that. So actually, go for it. Sure. Uh, would that be like stealth or something? Uh, what do you want to do exactly? I'm trying to just, like... I, don't, I assume I'm, like, an actual knight trained in some way, so I would have some kind of motion for that. I don't know if Grizzin knows it, but... No, because you all do not like each other. Well, actually, Grizzin wouldn't have an issue with you. Um, but for all intents and purposes, this is your moment of meeting, of working together for this. So what we're going to do is... Do you just want to get free, or what do you want to do exactly? Do I know where, where our weapons are being kept? You definitely saw it when you were bound. And it's in a small pile, probably about maybe 10, 20 feet away. About, we'll say, 70 feet away. Okay, and that dude just has a club. Yes. So, fuck him. Uh, I'm just going to try to scramble out from under uh, Vandegear. Okay. What? I mean, that's you can do your thing, but I'm just going to scramble out from under him and try to run for my spear. Okay, so the moment you scramble out, I'll, I'm still going to take the surprise round, because don't worry. Um, the moment you scramble out from underneath, uh, man, again in full view of the of the of the guy, he's yeah. like, well, "What the hell are you doing?" And at that point, we'll go into combat, but we'll go ahead and let um, the actual surprise round go to uh, Kristen. So, sorry. I mean, we're not exactly working together. The small one is not incorrect. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Surprise. So I will grab my longbow. Um, so I will use a fast action to aim. Um, and then fire and move into the woods at the same time. All right, so I want to give you the first... Because uh, I haven't... Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, just go ahead and do your attack there, uh... Kristen. Okay. Let me make sure I have this. So aim is plus one skill die. So it's one, two, three, four, five agility plus one, two, three, four skill plus two equipment. It's a lot of dice. I think I just killed him. That's a, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> All right, now because he can't see you. Now, because he can't see you, yeah, because he can't see you, um, he gets no chance to dodge a parry. So in this case, he just straight dies. But I don't think he can dodge the actual, uh, or I think he have to actually uh, parry it. But, why is it so damn hot? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so as you run towards, in fact, we need to go into combat. As you run straight towards your, uh, your gear, their rider, you just, you hear the, the twang of the bow, and just a, as an arrow just goes through, like, into the back of this guy's head, and he just collapses to the ground. Yeah, Vonnegut, Vonnegut and Deer is just gonna try to like 
butt scoot his way over to the over to the guy and try to like grab the arrow and start slowly hacking himself out of his ropes. I'm gonna just keep going for my stuff and just kind of hold up my spear in a defensive position, just looking between everybody. Yeah. yeah. Off. You absolutely get uh, to your gear, um, Ryder. Grisin, you're able to put everything you have on yourself. Only leaving Vanagin, which okay, you have nothing. Leaving Vanagin <laughs> now because you are enemies. Um, Vanagon is there, so perhaps you get the inkling of wanting to stab Vanagon because he is still kind of bound with you being free. And just to make this sense of you not killing each other, the moment you get your stuff t- together, which means still Vanagon's going to be uh, unequipped at the moment. I mean, when you, you I, hear, I'm going to let him go. My first, my first thought is not stabbing. My first thought is defense because I don't have my horse and I'm not used to fighting without it. Okay, so you hear. Hey, hey, look at the fray! As bursting from the the wood line is these individuals who you know as the companions of the currently dead person that's next to you. And they have a mixture of a couple... Um, one has a water skin that he is currently holding that's fresh, that's just extended and full of uh, water, as well as a couple other people that have... Which seem to be a small game. Rabbits, some birds that they're hunting for while this was going on. And that we can actually go into a combat. And just make it easy. Uh, Grissom did cut free Vanagon that released him from the bindings. And as Vanagon went to get his gear, is where this all breaks out into combat. Hey, hey, dog boy. We do have to say if you kill some men. No problem, sis. I kill many men. Yeah. Oh, also, I'm taking the dude's club. Okay. It's mine now. Sure. <laughs> as soon as they appear, I'm going to like, dance behind <laughs> Van Again, yeah. Yeah, so uh, Van Again, yeah. We're making it easier. We're going to go head straight head. into combat. Uh, so, first off, because I actually want to show this down, we're going to use this metal map right here. So this guy is currently dead. Please sell me a club. I'm very good at killing things. That he is. Yeah, Van Again, dear, has his... his uh, messer out in one hand, this club in the other. Alright, so this is He's you. He's gonna kill some motherfuckers. <laughs> this is you, and this is you. Alright, so. Ooh, yeah, here we go. Aw, damn it, a club isn't a light weapon. Okay, so position yourselves. I'm just gonna mark this map as the zones. Um, so in position yourselves, where do you like to be? Because I do believe all your gear stuff would have been around. Let's see the campfire is like right here. Is uh currently burning. Say the campfire is where? He's drawing it. So that's where our stuff was. Yeah. Yeah, Vanagandir is just taking up a position near the campfire. I don't have shit, so I grab my bow and dash into the woods with that shot. Yeah, so you put yourself at the edge of the woods if you want to, uh, Kristen. I'm gonna stand... I, I, I assume I, I can move one range, so I would have been one range one okay. thing away, I guess. That works. I'm gonna assume I was taking up the opposite side of the campfire from the wolfkin. Because that would make sense. <laughs> Alright, so anyway. now we're gonna go into actual initiative. Uh, here's how okay. this is going to work. I need to... I'll let E3 draw that I'm going to draw for the bad guys. So... We draw? Initially, yeah, it's not actually... It's not rolled based. It's actually based on cards. Now, it's kind of hard in fancy grounds. I have an extension that might do it. So, I'm going to see if it works for all of you. So, I want to do this. Uh, where's the table at? So, do you all see that? Yep. Uh, one of you click it real quick, the roll button. Skadoosh. Okay, cool, so it does work. Alright, uh, now only click it once, so someone else click it. Uh, wait, what am I clicking? Roll? Yep. Alright, and then we need, uh, Grissom. Oh, okay. fast boy. Alright, so Grissom is two. Uh, let's see, Ryder got the nine. Which is super last, and then Vanagir, Vanagir got four, which is middle. So one's being the fastest up, and so forth. So we're gonna put in a couple baddies. So let's put in, let's put in three bandits. He took out the other guy really damn quick. So he had a couple of buddies with him. All right, bandit. Hey, 
Oh yeah, uh, and now that he's on gag, Vanagandir is just shouting obscenities and taunts. Oh god. He's like just he's just <sighs> screaming at these bandits about the weakness of their lineage. <sighs> Alright, so put these in, guys in significantly more colorful words. I am Vanagandir, ender of the week. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll see how, we'll see how this works out with this, uh, this range. Alright. So keep yourself inside like the, the circles. Um, so we're now roll for them, so I need to do three rolls. Oh, someone got the last one. Okay, so. Let's see. Someone got the ten, someone got the three, and someone got the four. Oh, and this is counted backwards, isn't it? Ugh. All right, that's one thing I didn't actually think about. Does this go in reverse? I don't think it does. Okay, I was gonna reverse this. So this means you got the uh, one, because you're going last, which means Grissom actually got the eight, and then Ryder actually got the one, or the two. And then Bandit three got the Seven, Bennett three, got six. Nine. I'm reversing the order because it goes from uh, this is the this is reversing the order that Shaq should be. Because number one goes first. Yeah, but it doesn't cut that way in the comment tracker. I don't I don't want to confuse everything. Oh, so gotcha. okay. oh, so instead of so pretty much instead of counting from one up, we're gonna count from ten down. So okay. Sounds good. I'm surprised Fantasy Grants doesn't have a card function. Yeah, that's thoroughly bizarre for something. Like that's, it does. <laughs> yeah, it's also Shut it's up. also weird because there's a bunch of uh, uh, Savage Worlds modules for Fantasy Grounds, and Savage Worlds heavily relies on cards. For the actually, animation. yeah, this actually was a card feature um, that we use right here to roll, but it still counts initiative from highest to lowest. So, okay, not from lowest to highest. That's, that's why this got confused. So I just have to reverse it when, for next time. I'll reverse it. So now I know. Uh, but to make it easy, because I'm just gonna go with this order. So. Uh, who would go first was going to be Grissin. Nice. So Grissin, it's on you. So what's the uh, range here? So I'm at short range. So every single um. So this is near. Yeah. So I'm I'm three zones away from them. No. So this is abstract. Uh, because this zone is all one zone. So you're essentially here and here are pretty much the same thing. Oh, um, I, I spent a move action to get to get away from them. I moved a zone away. Okay, this might be the reason why I shouldn't use a battle map. Uh, no, so, so essentially, Oops. I used a move action to get one zone away from the two of them. So I'm sh I'm yeah. near range to them, and the the enemies are two zones from them. So I'm three zones from. Them. No, because that whole ring is one zone. Yeah, so it, it, it shouldn't be rings. It should be like lines. Yeah. Uh. So actually, I'm gonna do. We're gonna oh, redo wait, this. Is it like sections? So just, 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 just cut this in half. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Just cut in half. One line. Cut it into quarters. Quarters are better. So like put a line like here. Perfect. Perfect. That, well, not so perfect, but. <laughs> no, perfect. <laughs> so essentially, I'd be one, two, three, four zones away from them. Well, no. You'd be three zones, or no, two zones. Yes. Yeah, so just make it easy. We're gonna put you yeah, short range. <laughs> just make it easy. So they're two away from them, and I'm one away from them. So I'm three away. So I, it would be long range, I think. Uh, not not so this blade dog. Just make it short range. Just to make this. Like okay. I'm being just all confused right now. So okay. circles, uh, circles will be added. Yeah, I'm not gonna circles because that's just actually screwing the thing up. Wielding weapons. Uh, yes. So two of them got swords. One has a. Actually, they all have short bows and swords. They got a mix yeah. of weapons. No knives. Do any of their hands free? I used to mention one has a, uh, a one has game, one has well, one has game, one has water. The one that has out is the bow. So he was one that's probably uh, shooting the uh, the game. I'll take him. All right. Uh, so I'll do fast action to aim. Uh, All right. Which will negate my penalty for a short range. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then I will standard longbow. Wow, that's bad. That's all. <laughs> this is now. So you can push. So here's how you push. Because I'm pretty sure you're gonna apply just right. Oh, are you gonna push? Let me ask that question first. 
Do you, I don't know. Do you I could to, die if I push. Do you have to declare it before or after? You can declare it right now. You can declare it after you roll. Okay. Yeah, because you have to see the results first yeah. to be able to determine whether you want to re-roll. It's like using Wrath and Wrath and Glory, but it could go way worse for you. Mm. Yeah, fuck it. It'll only kill me. I'll push. Okay, <laughs> here's, here's how you push. Now, so all we need to have pretty much three controls at the bottom of the screen. So you should have the three dice. So now you need to actually type this out. Uh, then this is all the controls we need for this game. Uh, I can't spell type, so whatever. Uh, type slash push, and then drag that onto the fourth hotkey. And then click that, and you'll push. Oh, damn. There you go. I know Fantasy Grounds isn't completely useless. Now, there's why, the reason why I do this is because push only works for the last dice command you roll. That's why you have to do all in one string, which we're all doing now. Um, which actually is not that bad, uh, Kristen. So you do get one hit um, with two damage, two damage, so that's going to be, I believe, four damage. And then with well, the... Two damage. Oh, is it one damage? Okay, so... Yeah. Wait, well, you get an extra damage success. as the dagger. Let me look, play how much I love that. Didn't you get an extra success? Don't that give you more damages? I rolled one. I rolled two successes. Right. So I hit him. Plus one damage, so two damage total. Oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah. just right. Yeah, so. And I hurt myself for one agility. Yes. <laughs> Yeet. Love it. All right. So both Venigan and Grison had damage a bit. Uh, actually, wait, I'm damage. damaged. Now he smashed you in the head with his club. Huh. I didn't even get to not take the uh, set. I don't even know how armor works in this game. Uh, it's, you roll it. It gives you the ability to negate successes. So you roll armor. Oh, that's pretty spicy. Um, so let me double check how this works because I might want to use one of my. Well, it gives me willpower. It does. Yeah. We're well, getting willpower now, so. Um, so I'll, as I shoot, I'm gonna duck further back into the woods so they can't see me. Okay. Oh, uh, Hersk was able to throw on my armor. Uh, make it easy. So say sure. Okay. Cool. It's not on my sheet. I need to look up what it does. Uh, let's see. So we'll do this. Studded leather armor for being a fighter. Where is the studded leather armor? I do wish this book were laid out better. It is a little annoying. Oh, uh, I messed up. I should have extra skill die. Armor rating three. And then real quick, me do extra damage. Doesn't matter. No, oh, okay. All right, now because you can't see this, he's actually going to dodge out of the way. And dodge is move base, so it's agility. And he's going to dodge out of the way by... So here's one thing you can do to avoid damage. Now, being hit by a bow, the only thing you can do, I believe, is dodge. Or you can parry if you... Actually, no, I can't remember. You can't dodge. You have a shield. Parry. Yeah, so you can't. So he's taking the full uh, damage. So he does have armor, so he's going to roll he that. Try, he, he can try to dodge if he wants to, but it lands him on I thought the you ass. can't dodge. Yeah, you can dodge. Okay, yeah, he has one too. So, I don't... You have to still have to avoid it. I don't think I have armor, do I? I don't know. Currently, he, no. He needs to make a, a agility plus move skill. <laughs> and beat my number of successes. Yep. So he's going to... Yeah, he's going to dodge to the ground. So he's not going to get the minus two. So it's going to be a straight three to negate the damage. So let's see what he can do. What cavalier needs armor, you know? <laughs> Alright, that is one success. So... He only takes two damage, or actually one damage. One damage. Yep. But he's he's prone. Yes, he is prone. So he takes one damage. This is number one. My other question is, where is my health displayed? It's your attribute. Oh, our health is our attribute. So your your uh -huh. strength is your health. Okay. Weapon damage. Yeah, your strength is pretty much going to be your health. And so okay. it makes it easy. We'll do this. Strength is actually. Total of so you see how I'm marking it on your character sheet there, uh, Ren. Uh, yeah. All right. So the actual uh, title of the thing would be your actual point. So you can actually drop your um your stats down now. The actual score, since the title is going to be the actual uh, health cool. value. All right. So Bennett one takes. No, sorry. Man of one is prone, takes one damage. Alright, 
Sounds good. All right, so now I want to go to the next person in order, which is going to be me. So this will be man number two. He is going to go kill them, and he runs forward. He's just going to drop his uh his water skin. Stronger than you have tried and failed. So, actions wise, we have slow action, a fast action, or you can substitute the fast action, or so you can substitute the slow action for fast action. So you have two fast actions. So he's gonna drop his thing, and he's going to go ahead and quickly pull his short sword and move one zone uh, up to where Vanagon is, and actually stab Vanagon. <laughs> now, with a short sword, he can stab or swing. This is actually relevant. Um, let me find the reference sheet. I don't think it shows the actual sword sword. Let me see right now. I'm pretty sure item. I'm... It's not on the reference sheet. I just need to find it so that I know how game move works. Uh, do you look the Forbidden Lands reference sheet? I gave wrong. Yep. I I was just scrolling up to find it. Because I know I can do a do a parrying, but yeah. So you have no shield. So he is definitely not going to use a stab because stabbing uh. Wait, sorry. I need to think about this better. Ah, screw it. So sorry. He's going to stab you. Makes it easy. So he goes to stab you. And with that, that is going to be... Actually, uh, Gristen, you actually are long range. So. Yes. So I you actually... Yeah, you don't get rid of your back thing because you still have long range right now from them. Because that will put you at extreme range. Well, I've gone back two ranges so far from... Well, you went from short from them to long, so right now you'd be at, like, more than long. So where Ryder's at is actually a uh, long range. Wouldn't that be short range, because that's the next zone next to it? Oh, so between you and uh, Ryder is actually still going to be um, near, and then this will be too short, and this will be too long. Well, no, because there's arm's length, there's near, there's short. Well, arm's length is in near, that's why. They're both in the same zone. Okay. Just because you're in near, you actually have to move um, from near to uh, arm's length. Okay, I just make sure I've, I've moved two away from them. So each time I've shot, I've moved a zone away. Because you shot them when you're at, uh, short, and then you went to long, right? And then I shot from long and moved back to distant. Oh, uh, well, there's nothing bigger than longer, so pff. just yeah, I can stay at long, then, I guess. Yeah, so you're, you're still in long no matter what. So uh, I can't find the parrying anywhere here. Very inconvenient. So I would be unlocked, yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah, so this right here parrying is long range. Parrying does not appear to be on the reference sheet. Uh, it is. Where it's is under it? the, um... I'm looking at the table. tables and I'm looking at everything. Yeah. It's roll reaction on the left-hand side. Parry is strength plus melee skill plus bonus. Yeah. Huh. Oh, oh, okay. So, gotcha. first, wouldn't the area they're in be near? Riders in short, and then I'm in long? Yeah. Okay. Well, so, yeah. so between Ryder and this right here is going to be uh, one zone, and then right, you so also you're so you're right now you're short range from this guy, but long range from these two. Okay, then these zone lines are very wrong. No, we'll fix it for next time. All right. Uh, so is he gonna is he gonna try to rush the boy? Yes, he's gonna try to stab you. Here? All right. Please kill me. End my life. Alright. Actually I'm gonna show my rolls. Let's make this Yeah, easy. you keep rolling a GM and that's that's sus Hersk. Well it's it's more for like D twenty stuff, watching, but here I think it's better to be open. So let's Especially show really rolls. this type of stuff. Okay, yeah, so much rolls. Um I did get two successes though. Two successes? Alright, yeah. your boy Perry in. Okay. Uh is your weapon Perry base? Yes, it's a long sword. Okay, so you don't get minus two. All right, so because you do this, this does use a reaction of. Uh... I get a free parry. Okay, Defender. there you go. That's that's the point of defender. Got it. Pretty sick. So uh, every success you get negates one of the uh, successes plus, I have. I need plus melee, so bop bop, or no, not that many. Bop bop, and I don't get a gear bonus for this, do I? Uh, from your weapon, you do. Yeah, you do. I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. cool. So, pop. And pop. Come on. Yeah, that's one success. All right. He wants to hit you, though, unless you want to push. 
Do I want to push? Don't break your weapon. Yes, because you do have a skull. Um, oh, if you do push, right. you are going yeah, to use that skull, gear, which is going to reduce your. Uh, yeah. Break my Yeah, I'm not. Do I'm you only have a strength push. of three? Uh, I had a strength of four. Mm -hmm. You got clubbed in the face. I, I had a strength of oh, four. Oh, yeah, you got, hit, got the head. hit in the face. <laughs> that was stupid. Hey, man. I once said Vanagandir was a smart guy. So, yeah, that's oh. that's going to be my parry. Okay. Uh, so, just the damage by one. So, Broadsword does, I believe, two damage? It does. So, you take one damage instead to strike. Oh, oh thank God. You're As you get stabbed really a little nice. bit. Oh man, my strength is down to two. This is gonna go great. Yep. <laughs> and this now goes to Vanagon. Uh, yeah, Vanagon Deer has just been like, oh wait, I have armor. Hold on. Oh yeah, you roll it. So you roll oh, your yeah. armor value and dice, and for your success, you negate another damage. Okay. So let me find. There we go. Uh, where did the rule book go? I had the rule book open and I lost it. Uh, what kind of armor do you have? Uh, studded leather. What's the armor value? Oh, I just found it. Never mind. Uh, ar armor rating three. So what so flavor of dice, dice am I rolling? Three gear? Mm-hmm. Come on. Ah! And there's a skull, so I'm not pushing that. Okay. So, uh, it does get three armor, and it does take a gash out of yeah. your side. Vanagandir is, like, bleeding out of the side, like, howls a little, and just looks at him and just starts laughing says, you are all weak. All. And then I'm just going to go for him. Uh, so what is this this whole difference between stabbing and slashing business? So some weapons can only be slashing, except like maces, you can't stab with a mace. Uh, but it determines the type of reaction they can do to parry and dodge. So when you dodge, you use your movement, and when you parry, you use your weapon skill. The thing right. is, if you decide to parry a stab, you get plus two to the parry. Why does it say weapon and shield on the reference table? Because they have two different values. Uh, it says weapon minus two, shield plus two. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So, sorry. I just read this. If you decide to parry with a sword, you get minus two. But if you parry with a shield, you get plus two. So it's worse against shields, but yes. better against... The stab okay. is always better. If you yeah, can. I'm, I'm going to shank the head. But if they can dodge a slash a lot faster, a lot easier. I'll say that. Yeah, so... Yeah, stab will always Stabbing be better. is just can. always better. Yeah, so I'm going to... Yeah, Vanagandir just lunges at him. Goes to shank him. So if they have a shield, you don't want to uh, stab him, pretty much. Yeah, if, if they have a shield, you do the bad thing. Yeah, so if they have a shield, you uh, slash. If they got a... No shield, you want to stab. All right. Roll time. I said roll Ultimately, time. Uh, oh, okay. Are you for real? <laughs> Ooh, man. Uh. Well, if I push it, I literally die. So, <laughs> that's that. Uh, you can try and... I mean, you still have fast action, remember, so you could have shoved oh, or true. disarmed or... How does... I need to actually learn how this works. Yeah. All right, so grapple... Break free. I could shove him. Or I could disarm him. You said he has a broadsword? Yes. Hmm. Yeah, I'll disarm him. Uh, it's a fast action. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Let me see what this is. It's a disarm. So it's a melee attack. Okay. If it's a one-handed weapon, you need one success. Two-handed, you need two successes. So it's just the exact same thing I just rolled? Yeah. Correct. Cool. Bob, come on, give me a success. Hey, Thank hey, you. <laughs> and he is going to parry that. Which he does succeed. Rat bastard. Yeah, so you're going to start him, and he... But this does use up his actual, uh, one of his fast actions for the next turn, so... Oh, wait, I wasn't even able to do that. Okay, parry is a... F oh, wait, no, because I used my free parry. That's right, okay. Yeah. Cool. I shouldn't have used my fast action. I need it. <laughs> yeah, so he actually uses fast action, so he can't do... Well, he can't disarm you now. Um, but are you good to go now? Yeah, that's my whole turn. You're going to die. All right. Yeah, let's no, go to the next I'm one. Uh, it might have been helpful if, you know, I wasn't the only frontline fighter. 
Hey, I mean, my turn hasn't come around yet. I am too. <laughs> that's the that's the thing. I'm just to make this just character. just to make this a good sense for what's happening, um, he sees that uh, Vanagin might die, so he actually rushes past and is going to rush towards uh, Ryder. Yeah, he yeah. sees Vanagandir bleeding from the head and yeah, the side. Yeah, he, he he's not worried about it. So, okay, cool. And just to make this amusing, we're going to give him a shield, a broad sword and a shield. Sure, okay. Oh, the, well, one thing, um, the one thing that's actually good against me, fuck. Okay, fine, I'll <laughs> I just don't want to go through the combat yeah, just to show it, so. We're already gonna die. You don't <laughs> yeah. have to make it happen quicker. It's literally like, because you were just saying, oh, stabbing is always better unless they have a shield, and then it's like, I'm gonna give this guy a shield for the person with a spear. Yeah, it is kind of diggish if I did that. <laughs> yeah, like, let's, not, let's not do that. <laughs> to the person with a spear. Right. Stab him. <laughs> yeah, stab yeah. Uh, how do I do that? Do I just roll the actual spear strike, or does it matter? Uh, you're not hurt, so yeah, you just roll a straight spear strike. Uh, Man! Not good. Yeah, no successes. <laughs> so you can push the roll! Yeah, I'm gonna push it, because right. pushing Wait, is good you, for me do anyway. Do you take the damage on skulls if you roll them into skulls, or is it just standing skulls? Oh, both. Roll them into skulls. Or oh, the previous that's skulls. Bad. That's not bad, though! Alright. All right, so you're gonna do that. He is gonna try to dodge, but he's gonna try to—he's gonna try to dodge, um, standing still. So it's minus two. Okay. He's, he's so screwed. So he's only gonna roll one dice. So. Nice. Oh. Which he succeeded. So, um, he so he still takes. Still dead though. There's still uh, two. What is their health? Average health for humans is, is three to four. Yeah, so he has three. He has three health. So oh, he's still alive. By, he's still alive by one. So he's still you good. One, but you get you get him good with the spear. Yeah. Yeah, and then what's the damage look, on a spear? Is it only one? It's one. But let me uh, look at my. Uh, oh, but it has near range, so actually, uh, you could attack outside of uh, being super close. Yeah, so you can stab him with and he's Uh, I guess I'll. Well, his turn's before mine anyway, but I guess I could try to shove him prone. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I can really do. So how do I do that? Uh, it's another attack roll. Uh, another attack with what? Just straight spear. It's the same type of same type of attack roll you did oh, with the uh, attack. attack. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. Nope. Uh, you can push again, to... but if you do push, you're gonna take a, a strength hit if you do push automatically. Yeah, it's tempting though because willpower works well for me. It would be. Strength, not your willpower. I know, but I. Yeah, know, but you would get willpower. Yeah, he'll get, she'll get, get one willpower. willpower. I would get willpower. Or more I based can, on what she rolls. I can get, because uh, I can burn my willpower to negate attacks. Yes, however, my counter argument we are all going to die. <laughs> I'll be okay. Uh, you okay, know, I'll just, I'll my just counter argument it. you and I are going to die. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just leave it. It's not worth it on a shove, I guess. So my turn's pretty much over. <laughs> Good step, cousin. Good step. Good okay, so you were at distance, actually. Yeah, because there's actually a distant one that you're putting down there. Uh, which means at this point, um, this he's guy right, is short range. Not, yeah, he's in near range, isn't he? No, near range is still within you. So near and arm's length is actually the same uh, zone. Well, well, no. Arm's length is they have to move from near into arm's length that's in, in combat. Yeah, but in... In terms of drawing the zones, yeah. they're just going to be the same. Yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah, so this guy is near. This is uh, short, and that's uh, actually, yeah. Yeah. In and your, this, uh, dude, yeah. this dude would have to be an arm's length, wouldn't he? Bandit 2? Uh, can he get into the... I, I don't remember. We've can been he get fighting. that close? I can't remember if you can go from... Actually, yeah. I think to go from short... So going from here to here would have been uh, to near, and then from near to arms. Actually, he probably wouldn't have been able to attack you then. Yeah, so he okay. can't attack. So yeah. It's, so get your health back there. So get your health back, then again. So hold on. So if he didn't move up to attack me, so I didn't take the damage, what is a move action? Is it a You move one zone. Fast? One you zone can just move one zone automatically? No yeah. Near to arms length. Okay, so I moved up, attacked him. What happened there happened. Uh, so essentially, you couldn't have then, fast action. Yeah, 
No, I could have used my fast action to disarm. Because you, you used your fast action to move up to him. Yeah. Oh, I thought I didn't. Okay. When I asked, is it a fast action or a... Or a well, no, 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 so he could have. So what happened was, he used both his actions to go from short to near, from near to arm's length. Oh, so he was engaged. Yes, you could have chopped him. Yeah, so, he yeah, so you're good, you're good, you're so good. He didn't hit you, but you're good. We screwed it up, but we screwed it up in just Yeah, so it still works out, still works out well. So he shouldn't have been able to hit you. Yeah. So get your, so get your damage, damage back, um, but what you hit him is still good. Cool, cool. And I also still have my free parry. Yeah, because he didn't hit you. All right, it goes back to one. He's going to stand up, which is fast action, I believe. So now he is actually going to shoot you, Grison. Um, <laughs> Over all of this. Yeah. Long range. Let's spread it out. Yeah, he has, he has a short bow. Um, actually, I think a short bow could actually reach that range. Oh, it, does, it can't. <laughs> It has a range of uh, short, I think. Which means he can shoot man again. Yeah, we'll, we'll, go ahead, we'll go ahead and get the damage back to man again if I can. So let's see. He's going to do that. <laughs> I expect to be a sniper. Fuck off. All right. Man again, that is one damage to you. Unless you can parry it. Uh, I'm getting hit. Yep. Parry time. No, no, you can't parry uh, a bow. You can only dodge. Oh, I hate that. Or, if you, or you can parry with a shield. I'll say that. I, I have a shield now. No. Oh, you uh, can have a weapon so with a parry oh. feature. What? To be able to parry a ranged attack, you must either have a shield or a weapon with the parrying feature. Wait, so you're saying oh, that I can and just at least a level 2 talent in the talent for relevant weapon type. So, no, you can't. Oh, unless you have a that, you're specialized in a sword. That effect. would have been hilarious if I just hilarious. swatted an arrow out of the sky. Alright, so I guess I'm going to try to dodge with one attribute die and nothing else. Well, dodge is based on your move, though. Not your uh, strength. Yeah, I, 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 oh, but your move is one. Well. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I have agility. What's, what's agility? Uh, I have a... Oh, I've been editing the wrong number. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, I'm just going to real quick put an out of like, next to all my attributes. What's that? You can adjust the actual uh, agility and strength scores underneath for the damage. Where? Oh, I see what Whereas, like, empathy hair is like that. That's where you can adjust yeah, it. Yeah, I know. I, yeah, I so you. I have my max on top. I, I, did, yeah. I didn't understand that before. So let's do this. I did start so rents. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna push. And... Nice. Okay, yeah, so you quickly... Now, here's the thing, though, because um, we can talk about it. If you do decide to dodge standing up still afterwards, it's minus two. Or you straight dodge to the ground, which means you're now on the ground next to this guy. Or we can just oh, give it to you because um... you did get two successes, so we'll give you... you dodge out, we'll give it to you. You dodge out of the way, um, stand up, because you did get two successes, so we'll just give it to you. So, yeah, you dodge the, the, the arrow coming from the guy. Yeah, Vonnegundir just points his sword at the... Bowman and just laughs at him and once again insults his entire lineage. <laughs> cool. It goes Grissom. You're a bloodline, me, sir. Let's try this again. Um, <laughs> I like this game already. <laughs> Let me make sure I have my... Um... Like I said, this is why I'll do a second game because I, this is very, very rough right now. So, so yeah, I, I, I have been adding my extra... I have sharpshooters. I've been adding that. I'm making sure it's in here. Okay. Um, so, just so we get on the same page, uh, Jericho, um, with the zones right now are set up correctly, right? Yeah, so I'm, I am short from This rider. guy. Well, I'm, sorry, I'm near the rider, short yeah. to, wait. No, because you, you should be in extreme range from this guy, or the, uh, distance. So, make one more zone, right here. So That's I'm old. two zones? Yeah. So near, Rope. short, long. So I'm long from the guy in the back? So this is guy distant now. This is long. This is short. This is near. Oh, okay. Or do you want, or do you, I mean, like I said, we kind of messed this up in the middle of it. So you just want to go back to what it was? I I, I think I should be long from the guy. I've, correct? Hey, just, make it, just, just to make it easy for this, you know, we'll set up. We'll set up better next time. Uh, we'll leave it how it is right now. How you guys set up? Uh, so let me actually get rid of yours to make this easy because yours is Rupert, black. I have, I have a question. 
Is this a game where penalties are removing dice from your pool, or a game where penalties are just success failures? We also, here's the thing. Uh, penalty, so penalties only remove skill dice. Now, okay. if you ever get so, to negative skill dice, you still roll, and those cancel the ones out. Yes. Okay. But it's, it's not like if I have a minus two, I just automatically have two less successes. I just take out two skill dice. Yes. Right. But if you go to the negative, it's when you guys start, that's when you start yeah, uh, against each other. Yeah, you start rolling bad dice. Yes. Okay. Oh, the Gustav's gonna take, take aim at that far one. I shoot my fucking face. <laughs> which, uh, which one are you going after? The uh, far one. The far one? Alright, so long range. Yeah. Alright. Take aim, so it's... I'm at long range. Which is minus two. But I aim, which is plus one. So it's minus one. So, I've got... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Wait. Wait, I messed this up. Sorry. You got ridiculous dice. God, I it, I don't know why. The, ignore this one. The dice pool keeps adding. It doesn't let me clear it. Let me see what's going on. Let me try. Oh, I switched on. Oh, click, okay, so, go click, go ahead and fill it up real quick, uh, I can show you how to do it. Uh, put in some random dice, Jericho. That's you see, point. you see the dots on the bottom of the dice pool? Click on that. Yeah. The dots are racing. Uh, so, the, the right click clear doesn't do anything. Yeah, so just click on the dots on the bottom of the dice pool. Oh. That, that clears it. So all of you know that too. Um, if you do fill the dice pool, that's incorrect. You can actually click on the, every time you put in the dice into the pool, it puts a little dot underneath the text where it says dice pool. You click on the dot to erase the uh, dice that you put in. Uh, so that's one damage on him? Mm-hmm. Uh, he is going to dodge because that's only one success. So he's going to dodge stand up still. So he can actually aim next time. So let's go with this and shit. Yeah, okay, he gets hit. I mean, I'm going to try and like, move into some cover, like behind a, a tree or something like that. As okay. I, shoot. I mean, you can go to distance if you want to. You can go one more zone. I, I, I'll just hop in, into cover. Okay. Because uh, it'll protect me from him. Okay. Sounds good. All right, then we go to Bennett number two that is in front of Vanagan. So now he can actually attack. All right, so Vanagan, he is going to stab you. Now he does have no damage, so. Oh boy. Might have a first death. Oh boy. Well, look at the other. Your cackling jackal. He senses his demise. Hey, Wolf Boy. Ooh, That's not that? bad. <laughs> so he was parrying, it looks like. Uh, so oh, I was muted. Oops, I, I was saying a bunch of stuff. Should I push for the third one? I'll eat. Well, you're going to eat, eat one damage just yeah. regardless, yeah, so. Yeah, but what's the damage? You said he had a broadsword? Which is damage of two. Actually, yeah, he actually might be better. Uh, by well, here's the it. problem. If... If I push and I don't get a success, yes, I you're taking die. damage. You but if you it. do push and succeed, you don't take more damage. If I push and I get a success, then I I would only take one damage and I'd be down to two strength. If I reach zero strength, am I dead or am I like just out of the fight generically? Uh, we start rolling crits, but you're not exactly dead. Okay. From from so from what I hear, it's very very easy to get knocked out, but hard to die. Okay, yeah, well, they, they, they actually have to take a willpower check just to coup de grace someone. Okay, well, Vonnegundir uh, is... empathy damage if you do it. Vonnegundir is, uh, is... He, he's seeking a glorious end, so we'll do it. We'll push. Oh, so it didn't matter. <laughs> oh, okay. No, so the skull on them, so you actually hurt your, you hurt your weapon, but the skull is still from the other one, so you only take one damage. Oh, okay. So yeah. I only take one damage. Yeah, I... but your weapon does uh, take one more point of... So it goes it down a, by one it point. Chip it. it takes a chip into it as you, you catch the blade overhand. Yeah. Ah. So does that mean the, the gear bonus is reduced? Until you by one. Until you a blacksmith and repair it, yes. Yep. Okay. So instead of rolling two black, you roll one black. Zero, does it it break? breaks, yeah. Ah. But you're not dead. That's a good thing. It's, it's not dying is always fun. All right. 
What is... I'll also, real quick, is there anywhere I can look at what all the keywords mean? Because I haven't been able to find them in the book. Uh, I've looked at what the weapon features. Should be there. Ah, there it is. Alright. Oh, um, I gained an additional damage on successful attacks. Sweet. Alright, and it goes to you, Vanagon. Uh, I am I'm going to end this man. Go for it. He's not been hurt yet. The other two guys are a bit hurt, so he's not. I know, uh, Vanagondir is just like, he's dancing around this guy, bleeding out profusely. <laughs> Uh, three skill dice, one gear die. Uh, actually, wait, is there something that I can do that would make his life more difficult before I attack him? I have a fast action. So why don't I try to disarm him first? Yeah, let's do that. So this is the disarm roll. So that's one disarm. Alright, uh, let's see. So if he does actions now, it's going to be for his next turn. So he is going to... Did he not already use his fast action? But So actions are for the next turn, coming up. Oh, okay. So, yep, he is going to use his fast action to parry that. I'm so glad I'm back here. It's much better back here. It seems like it. He does parry. I don't like that. Uh, all right. But yeah. remember, this does use action for next turn, so... If you make him do it twice, he can't do a turn next turn. He That's loses true. it. That's uh, true. Well, yeah. I am going to attack him again. So. Yeah, so you actually might lose entire next turn because of it. So, Depending yeah, on what you roll. Vanagandir, Vanagandir is just going ham. Like, he's going in on this guy. He wants him he dead. twice? Uh, well, that was a that was a disarm. So now I'm going to attack. Do your worst. <laughs> he laughs at you. <laughs> My um, worst is better than your best. Okay, uh, let's see if he can... You know what? He's not going to um, parry that because I really forgot they have armor. So let's see what kind of armor they have. Uh, wait, I have a willpower because I, I ate a skull. And I have an ability that you might dislike here, Hursk. Well, I didn't say... Okay, you know, you know uh, arm, don't you? When I hit with a close combat attack, I can spend a willpower point to find a weakness in my opponent's armor or natural armor, and it has no effect against my attack. Alright, and I already said he's not going to dodge, so he gets hit. So, he takes uh, your damage of two? Uh, yes, that's, okay. that's the worst damage. And I didn't roll any extras, so he just gets eaten for two. Okay. Yeah, Va Va so they're Va all bleeding. You're, some of you are bleeding, so... Shanks the poor bastard in the side and kicks him off the sword. Alright, so then we go to... Are you finished? Yeah, that's my turn. Yes, he is finished. Alright, <laughs> now it goes to How the bandit you, that's in front of Ryder. He's going to try to sure. stab Ryder. Sure. Uh, and I'm able to try to, like... Shit, he, he misses. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, I don't have to do shit. He's going to shove me now. I, one thing okay. I like about this game is that all of us suck equally. Okay. Well, Damn, you can't do anything! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Alright, so he just, you can't hit the halfling. Alright. Alright, Ryder, it's on you. Yeah, uh, this man is... It, so what does, what does knocking prone do in terms of, like, trying to hit somebody? You get plus two dice to hit him. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try to knock him prone first. Okay. So... That's me. Oh boy. Oh shit. Yeah. Um. He's definitely. Gonna, he's he's dodging that. All right. So. Um. Buck rider. Well, if he dodges it, he still lands prone. Oh, he, yeah. it, oh shit. Yeah. Cause he got three successes. Um. <laughs> well, even dodging, cause dodging puts you prone. He only has three. Yeah. He, yeah. He goes prone. <laughs> yeah. So rider, you you you, like, you shoulder check him, and he just hits the ground. He shoulder check him in the God, groin. Rider. Now how do I? <laughs> Now, how do I add dice for... You have, you have to actually build a pool now. Um, so, yeah. drag okay. in the actual dice you want to do. So, it's going to be the four white. Now, it's going to be actually five um, skill dice. And then one for the spear. Oh, my God. One, two, three, four skill dice. And then my attribute is strength, which is four. No, five skill dice. Because you have three base, and you get two because he's prone. Okay, so skill. And then four for my attribute. One... Mm -hmm. Two, three. Oh wait, I can't add more. I can't add more dice. What? It doesn't let me add more. Uh, let's see. Uh, We've hit the limit. I'm confused, and now I can't even clear it. Okay, so. Click, click, uh, click on the dots. Yeah. Well, I can only. So I hit the limit on the dice pool. So what do I do? All right, just roll, and then we'll oh, just continue okay. dice to it. Modifier. Okay. So one, two. Will the modifier work? 
Five. I don't. Zero. It just does plus two. It doesn't actually do like die. I don't think. No, it does nothing. Yeah. So X plus let me three. let me just do <laughs> let me just do it a piece at a time. Let me do it a piece at a time. So these are the skill die. Oh boy. One, two, three, four. Those are the attributes, and then one for the spear. So that's so two. I, ru I routinely roll that number, so you should be able to add that many to your pool. I don't know. Five. It's ten, so I don't know. I can't put it in the dice pool. Cause it's not are you trying to add it one at a time? Oh, yeah. Are you trying to put it in one at a time, uh, Ren? I just did those. Yeah, I've been doing it one at a time. That's why, that's why. You need to put them in as a group. How do I do that? So drag out. So you have one in your hand, and then right-click to add more dice to your hand. And then drop it into oh, the dice pool. Oh. Okay. Four. Oh, oops. I didn't mean to put that in the dice pool. Gear. There we go. Fantastic. There we go. Ooh, okay. So this he might be able to actually uh, He's parry prone, this. So I don't know if it'll help him. It's Can he parry while prone? Spear. It's a stab. I, I assume so. I assume so. I just figure it might give you some kind of disadvantage to do it. Uh, I don't think a broadsword actually is meant for parrying. I don't know. He's gonna take the damage. Rig me. I want to actually no, go no, other stuff in this game. So a broadsword is parrying. Okay. Either way, I do want to continue this to other stuff. So he's gonna die. No, okay. this combat will take four hours. Here. No, he's dying. <laughs> okay. Damn. He dies. Damn. I trip him and I stab him. Yes. And that's that's all I can do. I've been rolling strangely well. Like, my turn is last, but every time that my turn has come up, it's been really, weirdly well. Alright, he goes... He's going to take a shot at... Actually, uh... He's, hey, make it easy. He's going to move forward. He's going to take a shot at Ryder. Cool. Let's go. I'm going <laughs> to... End the halfling. End the halfling. Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh. All right. I'm probably going to have to try to dodge that if I can. Alright, so you want to dodge stand up, or you want to dodge to fall into the ground? Because it does make a difference. Um, I'll try to dodge to the ground. Okay, uh, so in that case, you just roll your straight, uh, agility and move. Okay, well, what do I know what my move is? On the character sheet. The, the move skill. Under yeah, it's an extra skill. Zero. Then it's zero. You want straight agility, then. Yep. Okay. Row. Oh, boy. So, you can push this. Sure. You need two successes, though. You should take less damage if you get one success. Well, That's even... Good. Unless nope, she rolls a wand and she takes three damage. <laughs> yep, but I do get a willpower. You do! <laughs> but you're also very close to not being upright. Hmm. Actually, you take three damage? Three strength? Mm hmm. No, it would be three agility, wouldn't it? Yeah, so you, so you took. No, you, you took, um. Two. Oh, no, the weapon determines. Yeah. Agility. That's right. The you took, so you took two to strength and one to agility. I'll. I'll use my willpower to get rid of one of them to my strength. So I'll burn my thing for hard to catch. Okay. Go All away, right. Grayson. And then top of the round, Grayson. So I took one to my strength and one to my agility? Yep. Okay. Kill the archer, small one. Fuck, I'm walking on it. He's running so fast. <laughs> Oh, it's my time. Ah, I'm gonna shoot him. I'm gonna shoot him. Yeah. <laughs> Your turn! Um, Grissom was just leaning on his bow, sleeping. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm old. It's not my fault. It's been uh, a long night. So, I'm going to aim, which negates the penalty here. Mm hmm. Um, so, 5d6. Okay, so this, this is the full roll. I'll uh, pop out and take a shot. Actually. I'm gonna dash forward so I have an even better shot and get pl a plus one on this. Okay. Um, as I shoot, so aim, sh move, and shoot. Isn't movement an action though? Not for me. I have a fast shooter, so I can move at the same time. What a nerd! So I said you'll never catch me. What a nerd! <laughs> so this gives me one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four, five, two. Second question: Are there rules for disengaging? 
Yes. Okay. Cool. He is super fucking dead. <laughs> he is dead. He <laughs> is actually dead. All right. So he takes a ah. he takes an arrow to the chest and he goes down. Shut up, in the fucking hot dog boy. All right, but now go uh, to Bandit Two. We might need to wrap this up, wrap up this combat at least, because I need to disappear for a little bit. My <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do what what attack against uh? Meteor cometh. Here we go. <laughs> Shit. Oh my. Push it. Push it. Fucking push hard. it. We're gonna disarm you. We all suck equally. Disarming. Oh. Shit. All right, say it. He misses. I'm really great. All right, Vanagon, it goes to you. Vanagon Deer is going to parry the boy. Or not parry the boy. I'm going to disarm the boy. Parry the tech that didn't hit. Disarm, yeah, then stab. Obviously. Or actually shove, then stab. Yeah. No, disarm, then stab. Because shove, well, you shove get plus prone. two. Yeah. No. That's what I did. Let's, let's kick him to the floor. That's what I was doing. <laughs> oh, he's ah, going to shit. Oh, boy. Yeah, he goes to the ground. He can't dodge that. Yeah, Vanagandir just takes a step forward and just strong front kicks him in the chest and puts him on the floor. <laughs> and now it's time for, for the glorious shame. So yeah, plus two skull dice. Oh. Ooh. Well, that's one hit. He is going to try to parry that, though. I mean, even if he manages to do it, I'm going to walk over there and fuck him up. Parry! Oh, wait, I can't because I'm prone. Ha! He parries him. <laughs> So they parry the wolf, but not the halfling, huh? <laughs> so, so the... <laughs> uh, wait. No, he should have been at minus two. Wait, is the broadsword, uh... He's parrying a stab. With a weapon. Well, really? Because the same thing happened with me, where... Parrying a stab with a weapon is at minus two. Oh. Unless you have the... A parrying weapon. What's a broadsword is? No. It's just a it's just a modifier for if you're parrying with a weapon. There's an additional minus two penalty if your weapon isn't doesn't have oh, parrying. Oh, that makes sense. So if you're parrying without a weapon that has the parrying, uh, it's minus two, right? You're, you're, it's you're minus right. two, so and it's minus four for if stabbing, care. if you're trying to parry just with a weapon, it's at minus two. So if you were trying to parry a stab with a non-parrying weapon, you would be at minus four. So he actually he gets the most good fly. Then he'd be dead. No, I wasn't sure that. Von Gondir just oh, kicks dead. him in the chest, puts him on the floor, and then just steps over him and starts repeatedly shanking him. Okay, I need to go see what my parent wants, so I'll be back in a little bit. Just stab, 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 stab. Oh, and combat there. The wolf can hit them when he's dead, of course. He did. <laughs> <laughs> Weaklings all. You want three holes in your. What did you say? The small green. You have, I pointed with an arrow, three holes in you. I don't like you. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Sociopathic Beavis and Butthead. Let's go. <laughs> New relationship. Uh, Grissin is a pretty okay. cool dude. Okay. It's basically just that I need to do something once we're over with the game. Cool. Uh, yeah, Vanagandir is going to loot everybody. <laughs> Starting the, with the one that he just made into Puppy Chow. <laughs> All right. Oh, good, good kill, cousin. I'm going to start walking off in search of a new horse. <laughs> <laughs> good luck, the mist doesn't eat you, or the bears, just a, or the demon just bears. A, just just wander into the woods screaming, HORSE! <laughs> I have I have animal handling. <laughs> going into the nights and, and going into the forest at night in the forbidden lands. Yes. Brave, very wise. Have fun. Oh okay, yeah. So Ashley. the party sheet has two broad swords and one short sword. Uh, is a short sword a light weapon? I assume so. Sorry, broad sword. Sorry, broad sword and a short bow is what I meant to say. Damn it! A short sword isn't even a light weapon. <laughs> Set. Weird. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look over the the goblin. Does it look like the goblin has a knife? I have nothing. I literally have a bow, goddamn, a flint and tinder, and a like the basics. All right. Okay. Uh, guess... Deer, you'll, you'll take one of the broadswords. I don't even have armor. Expand his arsenal. You, how do you heal attribute damage in this game? I rest. rest. Yeah. 
Mm. Yep, we're gonna get that right now. This actually so the big part of this game is this is a hex crawl. We're gonna go into that right now because actually this is a big part of the game. So uh, we're actually gonna get rid of this map because we don't need it more. So, so do successful healing, but we have no map be gone. Ooh, all right, so I need to actually do this. All right, so we go to the big map. Lord, so if we rest or sleep for a quarter Lord, day, man. then we get all of our lost attribute points back. Oh, so sweet. We're not hungry or thirsty or suffering from other conditions. But we have food, so we're good. Yeah. Food. Food. I just made someone into puppy chow. I was. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> right there, man. I mean, I'm sorry if you're picky. You can starve. <laughs> I'm just eating the goblin bagel over here. All right. Bagel. So to make a bagel a this bagel? easy, we're gonna put you all. Actually, you decide. Pick a place you want to be. No, hang on, Hersk. This is this is a religious thing. I'm a New Yorker. Did you just call a bagel a bagel? No, goblins I didn't call say bagel. Bagels. There you go. No, I'm talking. I'm talking to Jared. I just had to resolve that issue. Bagels are bagels, but for goblins. Bagels How about bagels. the dank okay, wood? Okay. <laughs> ha! I get it. No, that's actually literally what it's called. No, I know. That's. <laughs> It's also a pretty cool place, so maybe. How about we? I kind of like the uh, the this little area by the tin. I think it is. The tin. F Falendar, Where is that? So on the right hand side, by the plains of Margelda. Is a little. I mean, we appear to be in a forest. Well, we appear to be in a forest, so. Oh, There's a tender. Falender. Oh, the maybe tin. Like, it's just maybe, a lake. That's cool. maybe the uh, southern arena forest because there's villages near there. Uh, why not like the southeast Dankwood? Mm -hmm. Dankwood is all the way up in the north. Oh, it's north. It's north of most uh, forest. Yeah, like, no, like southeast, southeast oh, so Dankwood. There's a couple little, villages uh, off it. Village by the vent. Can you guys yeah. see my pen? Yeah. Over yeah. by like the blush kind of area. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, works for me. Sure. We don't. We don't want to be in the deep woods because we'll die. We'll get. Yeah. <laughs> well, you'll die. Hey, uh, why don't you fight me? I would be fine if I had my horse. I'm that just seems gonna to be a running like theme. That. Are you useless without a horse? Is that what we're learning here? <laughs> hey, I mean, I... Alright. Uh, All right. but... Position where you guys are at, using the token of Grissom. How I'm dare you? Ball. I do not accept this. I think we should be there. Not my, not my goblin. Well, maybe we're based out of that little village up north. I don't know. Or we, why not that? Why not the patch of the dank wood that's over more east? Now, and since you were captured, we're putting you over here. Yeah, that's exactly where I wanted to be, Hersk. Um, yeah, I'm not the useful without my horse, but I consider it very useful the horse. Ah, uh, yes, the, the robot Ren. Yes, robot Ren is currently in play. We turned Ren into a servitor. It's a better use of him. <laughs> There's no issues know. of blaming I anymore. Kind of scary. Uh, well, no, but but you lobotomize them. They can't do the psychics if they don't have a brain. Okay. Anyways, I need to take it real quick. I gotta way. pee. I'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you, Hersk. <laughs> Okay, Man, this game it, it is weird. Hit, hit, does but it? I like this I'm game. Totally fine. It's terrible. I actually it really like this game. So. Like I said, I'm presenting it really bad, but I actually really like this game. No, I, I like this too. And I'm about to show you why I like it in a minute. For the big part of the hex crawl, I'm going to show you. I need, I need to pee. Go. Go. I also really, I really so like One thing you all need to remember you all have a pride. And you can enact yes, your pride and make it happen. That's true. What is, what is, my, what is a pride? So on your sheet, it's like on, your, on, um, it's on your thing. abilities on the right-hand side, you should have a pride listed there. Mm -hmm. uh, once per game session, you can use your pride when you fail the skill roll. Mm -hmm. You activate it, you roll it. Uh, so you use it after you've rolled your die and pushed. It looks uh, like mine is probably to keep my balance then, because mine says, horse or no horse, you never lose your balance. Yeah, so if you get knocked in your ass and you, you need to stay up, you can and you pushed... You can use your pride. Let's see, roll a d12. 
and add it to your roll. Mm. Oh, jeez. But, but now, if you fail, you lose your pride for a session, and you have to pick a new one. Yeah. Okay. So it's basically, I need to succeed, and if you fail, it's like, oh, shit. I'm not that, probably would have been a, that probably would have been a good fight to know about it, but okay. Well, you would have had you to push, and nothing. a lot of those things you wanted to push on are... Yeah, every, anything you would have been like, maybe I should push for this, would, would so it's probably... It's more of a, I'm climbing a tree, and if I fall, I die, or if I'm tracing yeah. along this waterfall I, edge. Back to, the, back to the wall, we dead if I don't. Either way, um... But the important thing is, um, they have on page... I love the the scaling of these talents. Okay. Like, it is Defender Defender yeah. rank three makes me happy deep down in my soul. You just can parry infinitely. Alright, so right now it is currently nighttime. So for the nighttime, there's a couple things we could do. This is gonna be from hiking. Actually let me let me touch all up. Make this easy. I, I believe thing. I can see in the dark because I'm nocturnal. <laughs> He's a goblin. Uh, but on well, the gun, if you look at page, do you have the, the core player's handbook? Yeah. If you look at page 39, that's how you get XP every session. Yeah, there's a bunch of questions, right? Yeah, I like I, I, I like the system a lot. So this is a this is a question XP based game. Yes. I'm not a huge fan of how easy it is to get knocked down, especially for your melee. You're just oh, I it. like it. It's brutal. I like that a lot. Like, everything you do sucks. Uh, it doesn't There's make no good choices. Better. I can, even if I get hit, I can still shoot people. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, Until these are the actions we can do. We can do these every quarter day. Right now, we're at the last quarter day because it's night time. Um, so we can probably don't want to hike because that'd be kind of bad right now. But risking, or even making camp. Oh, do they have any money on them, Hersk? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I put it in Brooks. So you find a total of 12 silver. Ha ha. There we go. That worked. All right. It, it's distributed already, so don't worry about it. Okay, I was about to ask how much was on my guy, but we'll just say it was four each. And... Oh, I didn't get mine. Yeah. My silver didn't update. Just update it yourself, you didn't empty. Oh, that's weird. It says it's distributed. But yeah, it didn't. Mine didn't, update the, uh... mine didn't update either. I just manually did mine. Sure, whatever. Okay, I'll do that. I've got ten silver now. Because I yeah. can roll. Hey, I had I have ten as, or I have seven now. Ha! You guys have money. We both want it. I had one silver going into that fight. Uh, Vanagandir is a poor wolf man. I hear my brother screaming downstairs. I hear him too. Do you need to go? <laughs> Uh, my stepdad had asked me to watch him uh, so he could get a few hours of sleep. <laughs> if you gotta go, I gotta go. <laughs> I could probably stay, I just feel bad for him. That's okay. Suffer suffering builds character. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not my damn child. <laughs> so, I'll go hunt. I can go hunt. <laughs> I would also like to go hunting. Well, if you I go hunting, like, I can set up camp. I would like uh, to go Set up hunting. camp, because I have a bear trap. I would well, like this is the last quarter of the day, though. It is night. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wait, Before no. The... I'm resting. I'm staying at camp. Mm -hmm. I'm asleep. <laughs> Vanagandir, like, gets done with the fight, sits down by the fire. So, and actually, it does look like, because resting, you can't actually rest while you're sleeping. So, rest is actually healing. Resting is healing. So let's, 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 oh, okay. make, let's make evening instead. So make evening instead of uh, night. So the healing skill can heal you faster, but if you rest for a quarter day, you get you heal all your attribute damage back. Yeah, Von, Von I'm gonna rest to that. <laughs> all right. So we're gonna, 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 gonna actually gonna do. Uh, you know what? Just because I want to show how this thing works. Yeah, we'll do this. So you can rest and sleep. So we'll do this. So let's give you some things to do. So we'll do exploring probably tomorrow or the next day. Um, but we can rest and sleep for today, or you can go hunting if you want to. Oh. 
Vonnegundir is gonna rest for a while until everyone else is out of camp. And then right. Sleep. So for the first uh, part of the quarter day, um, for the evening, type out what you want to do in chat. Is is um is sleeping necessary? Because I would I would like yes. to heal my attribute damage. Yes, because if you don't sleep, you actually be can't. You're gonna get the tired status. But because we're not actually in the nighttime right now, we're there's, so there's four quarters in the day. You have uh, let's see. Because I would like to heal my attribute damage, but I also would really like to find a new horse. I'd imagine it's like morning, afternoon, Yeah, Yeah, no, you have morning, night. day, evening, and night. Okay. So it's currently evening? Yes. So we have we have uh, gonna... night still. Okay. So. Then, then... Vanagon Vanagondir is going to wait to see what Ryder does. Like, just kind of, you know, hang around, just be like, hmm. I'm what, what, what do I want to do? So pretty much sleep's gonna be at night. So right now you'll have a chance of either rescuing or hunting or just or stuff like that right now. Mm. I'm not that hurt. I'll go I'm gonna go I don't know what it would be considered, if that would be like hunt or whatever, to go and try to look for and befriend a new horse. I'll do that with hunt, yeah. Okay. <laughs> just rider goes frolicking into the woods, neighing merrily. I assume I'd be trained for this. Yeah. So I figure I, I need to sleep before they do, so that I can keep watch while they sleep. Yeah. Uh. So so what I'll say, player to player, is go and hunt, because Vanagandir will only sleep when no one else is at camp. Well, that sucks for him. Nah. Well, you should you should go hunt and then sleep at night. I need to keep a watch. At night. <laughs> I, I can see in the dark. Oh, that's true. Yeah, Vanagandir is just gonna climb up into a tree and say unkind things about the goblin's lineage, warn him to stay away from him and sleep. So, yeah. so write down, write down what you can do for this quarter in chat. Okay. Actually, I'm not hurt. By He's a slap. Slap. Vanagandir does not need your English. Vanagandir slap. Oh wait. Oh, if I thought you were doing something. Me? No. I sleep at night, so I can keep I have, I have to sleep and rest, Chief. Well, you can rest and still heal. You don't need to sleep to heal. Yeah, but I need to sleep for the day. But we, have two quarters, we have two quarters left in the day. I need to rest to heal, and then I need to sleep so that I can could, alive. You could rest for this quarter and sleep during the night. Sure. Well, but I... Sleep and you'll heal. Wait, I thought. Hold on, I'm confused. Sleep, I thought I, I had. Sleep. I thought sleeping and resting were separate actions. They are. That did separate things. Sleeping right. also covers resting. Ah, I was it? not aware of that. I was, I'm trying to. Look, I'm trying to look for that. I'm not sure if that is or not. Yeah, because because if it be is, then I'm gonna sleep at night and I'm gonna just go hunting. It would be weird if it didn't, because then you're. I know it's, it seems weird. Yeah, two halves of your day are taken up by having to do that. Uh, well. I see the purpose of it with resting not being resting, but like taking care of yourself medically and then sleeping just being like knock out, get your get your eight hours. So Pedro, what, what well, but like cover? in real life at least, a lot of your healing actually does happen when you're sleeping. I mean, because that's it, when the body actually can dedicate the energy to it. Yeah, but you also have to take care of yourself. Well, yeah, but like you have to dedicate some time to. Well, right, care. yeah, but I just mean that, like... Cause... Okay, yes, yeah. So you do recover all of your actually points by resting or sleeping for a quarter oh, okay. day. So, so in that case, go. I'm, I'm going to go hunting. So pretty much you want to do resting if you don't want to sleep, so... Okay, okay. yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm going to go hunting. Okay, I'll be, I'm, I'll I'm going to... Yeah. There we go. Okay. Can, can we get that oh, soul? wait, you're not going to go to sleep. Chris? Uh, I'm going to wrap. Okay, so let's do the making camp first. Do camp for us to use? Because didn't, didn't the gentleman we just murdered oh, we already have, already have a so camp? I, I yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Was like, yeah. wasn't camp already kind of made? Yeah, so Jericho, just just sleep. Yeah. You gotta do it anyway. There we go. Okay. I don't know if we'll ever make it to the one-shots for other the other games, because if... I like this one. <laughs> I said, actually, I will say this: of all three systems, the one that is the highest on my priority, um, the one that's highest for me, want to actually one is this one. 
Um, this one seems really good. Just because I am kind of already, not burnt out, but I've already run plenty of D20 systems, even though Shadow of the Lord does right. seem cool, um, I want to do something with new mechanic. Kind of like how it was yeah. with Wrath and Glory, but I didn't like Wrath and Glory, the, the setting. Yeah. Um, Shadows of the Demon Lord looks great, and we should totally do a one-shot of it. Yeah. That's why I want to give this one a fair try of actually doing it correctly. That's why. Yeah. I don't want to have this be the last one. All right, uh, so... Stop talking to yourself. Go hunt. You are small and weak. I am big and strong. I will hit you with my bear trap. So I'm going to say this, um, Grissin, just because of, I want to show the mechanic how this works out. Um, I still want you to do this, the big camp, because all it was is just a campfire. But I'm going to give you two bonus dice. So go ahead and still do the um, survival roll, but with plus two. Sleep. Just let the goblin sleep. <laughs> uh, no, because if you fire, the, the mishaps are kind of fun. I want to see if there's a mishap. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, Uh, yes. yes. And then I have equipped. Oh, goody, goody. One success. Goody. Thank you, uh, Flint and Steel. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Okay, yeah, so you make the camp easy peasy. Now we'll go to Vanigan. You want to hunt? So go ahead and Vanigan, do you have a, um, anything to help you out with I hunting? I have a bear trip. All right. So you're going to roll also, me. I also just have not yet figured out what Vanagandir's accent is, and it's okay. It's been 17 different ones in the past two minutes. It was supposed to be, like, Norwegian. I had an accent, and then I woke up to be really, and my voice was too low. All right. Uh, so I know the bear trap does give you plus two, so go ahead yeah. and roll. Um, skidoosh. I said skidoosh. Oh, you <laughs> Really? Wow. <laughs> really? You cannot hunt successfully. Vanagandir is just too annoyed to hunt properly. He just, like, walks up to a rabbit and just shouts at it instead of killing it. Alright. <laughs> Nothing's found. So, Ryder, see if you can find a horse. You're not just specifically yeah. for a horse. So, survival also. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I have... Uh, I have bear trip. So that's... Uh, that's my wits plus scouting? Is that what that is? Survival. Yeah. Well, yeah, I have, or excuse me, my wits plus survival. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I don't think I have a tool for that. Yeah, you wouldn't use a bear trap to find a horse. So. <laughs> no, hey, I don't man. have anything. It can run on three legs. Well, no, you can push because so you're gonna sleep after you're gonna get your stuff back after you heal after you sleep. Yeah, so I'm gonna push that. Push them might not be a oh, bad wait, idea. That's a fair point. Can I push? Can you push can I push my roll? Sure. OG will push. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow! All right. Monogandir is just at his wit's end. Hey! So, I took two damage, but fuck it. I took what? I took, I took two wit damage, but... No, you took one. Well, because I got Why another... I rolled no, no, no. no that, that's from the previous roll still. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, Wait, Ryder, Ryder, did you Ryder, use push, you 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 push into... or did you just, did you just re-roll the dice, or did you use push? I pushed. So she, she took two damage. Why did it roll one less die? Yeah, yeah I should have rolled push. Because I, I took the one damage. Oh, I guess, okay, yeah. Because you didn't use the actual back. push mechanic. Did you actually do slash push, or did you just roll in chat? No, I, no, I, I've just been rolling, because I don't No, know no, so yeah, that, that's why. Um, I didn't know how to do it. Type in slash push into chat, and then drag it. Drag it to hockey. So you should have four, you should have four hotkeys in this game. Okay, well now I do, but either way, I took two damage. Yeah. I into yeah, yeah, one. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Two damage. Um, but you do find a horse. Yay! That is a nice horse. And I have six things. I assume I probably could have picked up like food or something to offer it on the way as well. Now this is for you to find a horse. So okay. let's go ahead and have you do a animal handling roll. Okay, I have six die for that. I love that this is wits, so you actually, it's not damage per se, it's, you're getting increasingly frustrated. Yeah. <laughs> until eventually you pass out in frustration. <laughs> That's my <laughs> bad. Stop a bitch! He just passes out. Oh, oh, oh man! Screaming I'm at gonna, a rabbit. I'm gonna push that. Don't, don't <laughs> you knock yourself out. <laughs> don't just collapse in front of a horse crying. <laughs> <laughs> well, now this is empathy damage. Slash, no. slash push. Okay, well, yeah, 
yeah, but what do I do after that? Like, just hit nothing. slash push. Just yeah. hit slash push. So, ty so type it out, yep. Just like that. There you hey. go. All right, so you take oh, one, uh, one damage, but a success. Yep, but you do. You're able to tame the horse. Yay! You get a you get a horse now. Woo! But nothing to ride it with. Oh dear. So oh. back at so back at camp, um, <laughs> you see uh, Ryder come in with a horse. Ride the horse. If anything, he come in just pissed off. Vanagandir just storms back, like covered in leaves. And he's mud he's got the bear trap with him. That's like <laughs> broken. Half it's like hanging off. He just throws the bear trap in the floor and goes, bed hunt, and just sits down and sleeps. Okay, um... <laughs> but, like, I'm... angrily sleeps? Like, he exudes an aura of rage? Okay. I'm just gonna feed the horse and go to sleep as well. Now for night. Good evening. Uh, are they all gonna sleep in? Yep. Uh, so. Well, I was, I was sleeping... You just had me roll the thing, and I'm going to keep watch at night. Okay. So now we need to actually go through food. So everyone, go to the character sheet, and you're going to consume both of your food and water. So this is how you do this. You roll these. So you double-click them and roll it. I'm frightened. All right. If you roll a one or two, you actually go through some of your food. You go from a D8, or you go down one step. So Ryder, you actually go from a D8 to a D6. Uh, for your food. How do I how do I change well, it? Ryder rolled a four, so she should be. I rolled a four. So, sorry, sorry, Vanagon. Yeah. So I, actually, no. So Van, there's no D four. D six is the lowest. You actually run out of food. You don't run out of water now, Vanagon. Well, Vanagon, yeah, Vanagon, dear, Vanagon dear is like six. How did he roll a D six for his water? My water is D six. Yeah, that's what I started with. Was D six. Oh, you suck. <laughs> so Vanagon no, uses use all his water. <laughs> yeah, Vanagon dear is like really mad, so he like pours some on his head, just chugs the other half, and then just goes. <laughs> yeah. So right click yeah. it and so go so go to your character sheet van again and right click the water and just go to delete dice. or clear yeah. Uh, on, on the right side, with well, a completely full water skin right here because the guy just came back from filling it. Ah, <laughs> that is true. So here's what I'll do. Here's so here's how it works out. So you have two units of water. One unit is one die step that you can distribute among the party. So not everyone gains two dice, but you have pretty much two dice to give uh, how you choose amongst the party. Vonnegandir takes one of the water skins. So you're back to a D6, Vonnegan. And then there's one more left over. Who wants to take that? I don't care. Uh, I think we give it to Vonnegandir as well, so he has now. Vonnegandir Vonne sure. Vonne takes the other one. And then say there's, there's some but, food, but so there's also... There's, uh, we'll say there's, there's a couple rabbits, and they got damaged in the fire. Say they fell in the fire. We have one unit of food someone can uh, distribute. See if the hunting D8, was uh, failed. D8 or D12, by the way, is the step up from a D6. Yeah, D8. D8? Okay. Yeah, so you go from a D6 to a D8 to a D12. Sweet. Sorry, sorry. D6 to a D8 to a D10 to D12. I was going to say, yeah. what happened to the D10? Yeah, I, I missed the D10. Some games forget they exist. Yeah. I do. How dare you. So someone can take that. And then we're going to sleep. And yeah, we now go to the new day. Vonnegandir well, takes the food and just says that he hunted it. So we got to the morning. So now we can go to the... So now, if you want to hike to go to a new uh, hex, everyone has to do it, not just one. But if, you, but if you do hike, you can lead the way and hike at the same time. You can keep watch and hike at the same time. But you cannot forge... Um, so I, mean, I might try this out still, too. So let's see. This is, the, this is the Hexplore part of the game, which I actually do like. Because I've never run a Hexplore game before, so... So I will lead the way, because you all suck at pathfinding. Uh, sure. Vonnegandir is good at killing things. Vonnegandir is a ballistic missile. I don't have much, I don't have any scouting, but I do have survival. Vonnegandir is a fire and forget weapon. My stuff is literally like, my stuff is all kind of like wild, wild empathy and such. I'm good with animals. Uh, yes, uh, weak. <laughs> I'm, I'm good with animals. That's about it. <laughs> Four empathy, two animal handling, three wits, one survival. Four strength, three melee, two endurance, three agility, two marksmanship. That's that's what I got. <laughs> I, I think we we put have my friends to go to town. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, mm. 
Yes. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> so, do they have like a tent and stuff I could pack up and take? They have bedrolls for each of them. Like... No, they only have bedrolls. And the campfire. Okay, I will take. Uh, I pick up the campfire for later use. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. Veg, Vanagondir is gonna nick one of the bedrolls. So we could be a blanket or a sleeping fur. Chieftain. I don't think they would have. Would they have just left my my old horse's saddle, or would they maybe have taken it to possibly? They would take it to sell. Okay, so I'm gonna just take that and yeah. put it on this new horse. Sounds good. Hersk, are there bedrolls? Are they blankets or are they sleeping furs? Uh, we'll say they're blankets. Okay. These are kind of like bandit esque characters. I'm gonna just like sling my stuff over my over Ye this new horse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Vanagandir is gonna make like I don't know what they're called a knapsack. He's gonna make a knapsack out of this blanket and his sword, <laughs> uh, but he doesn't have anything to put in it. <laughs> so he just has it. So he just has it. Oh wait, I'm sorry. He has some rabbits and a water skin. Well, we do all have knapsacks too, don't we? Everyone starts with a water skin and a knapsack. Yeah. Oh, didn't realize that. No, you do. Yeah. Oh, there and you go. Everyone, I have the basic. Everyone gets a water skin and a, a knapsack. A knapsack. Yeah. <laughs> a snack stack. It's just I'm... it's just a stack of sleeping boards. <laughs> I've, got, like, I've got I've got a short bow, a short spear, and some sleeping furs. So I mean. Hey. Cool. So I will uh, lead the way because you're all shit. Okay. Um, I guess I'll keep watch. Actually, it's based off survival, not. Yeah. Matches. Is it based off survival? I can do that then. So what's your total survival? Uh, my total is four. So I, I have five. Hmm. Because I've got one survival and three wits. Yeah, so pretty much you want to have people that are going to uh, lead the way and keep watch. Actually, both of you can lead the way. I can keep watch. Only one person lead the way. What can we do while oh, okay, we're one person. Okay, okay. What can we do while we're while we're hiking? Uh, uh, you can only keep watch. Only one person can lead the way, or you just hike. So everyone hikes. One person leads okay. watch. Multiple people can keep watch. You can also, I believe, forage and hunt as you journey. No. Uh, forage hunt, you cannot do if you hike. So, oh, yeah. watching... So, for, for everybody else, you pretty much are just keeping watch. That's pretty yes, much Yes, pretty much. Okay, so there you go. Because what's the use of just hiking? It's just... It's the movement. Yeah, it's just how you move. Well, no, I mean, where you said, like... Um, you can you can hike you can just hike or you can like keep watch and I'm like what's the point of not also keeping watch? Don't know. <laughs> there's not really there's no mechanical benefit to to not also keeping watch. While I think you're there hiking. are talents that let you do other things while you're hiking. Probably. Maybe. Yeah, I I saw a couple of them. I uh, guess. I think there is a, a four one which lets you. Yeah, there is. Maybe, like, find things as you walk, walk. Yep, you can get food as you're walking. It's like hunt and walk at the same... Or hunt and hike at the same time. Okay. Uh, I will lead the way. I might need horse stats. You mentioned pulling up horse stats, but I don't have them. Oh, I didn't do it. Didn't yeah. Uh, <laughs> I need them good old horse stats. <laughs> I also probably need to figure out... Wow, that was not good. Oh boy. I didn't fail. <laughs> Alright, a riding horse. Uh, let's see. A riding horse is two gold. <laughs> you can get a donkey for six over. Alright, um... So you got a riding horse and a stats is 124. You can just, like, throw it to me in the chat and I can pull it out of my hotbar. Takes much damage, but we succeed. Oh man, that's a lot of successes. Well, All you need is one. We're getting where we're going. It, I, I wish that I wish I that the multiple power. successes counted for something. <clears throat> right, I'll have to make an entry, but this is the stats of the horse. 
It's in chat. Oh, do I start, do I start with you. two willpower? Huh? Do I start with two willpower? Uh, only if you willpower? have a holding. Okay, so I should only have... So I should have two now. Because I took a separate... Oh, no, I should have two now. So move two, take, scout two. three. Wow, this horse is a crazy scout. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's... Mm. Yeah, what like is the... What's the actual the five four the five four two and one? What are those actually? Because you know I don't see the labels. Sorry, what was the question, uh, Ren? What are the five, the four, the two, and the one? Because I don't actually see the labels. Oh, um, so the okay, so the strength is five, the agility okay. is four, that skills the movement. So the two movement means they can move two um uh two zones with every movement action. In, in combat. And then the scout, what is, does it, is that like it's total die for it, or is, does it have... Yeah, so it rolls points? completely. So it rolls three dice oh. when it wants to see something. Okay, cool. And two dice when it wants to do a move type action. And it got pretty much five health. That scouting is the same as mine. <laughs> okay, so I successfully lead the way. Uh, Alright. I think we're, we're heading... Why are we what, over do, here? what do I do as yeah, a boy over here. keeping watch and marching? Or do I not do anything? So you just keep watch. Okay, cool. Just wasn't sure. That's all. Thanks, Chief. So you roll the uh, spotting, I think it is? Do we roll scouting? And can I roll for my horse as well? <laughs> so, are we rolling scouting? Uh, I'm looking at it real quick. Referencing books. Yeah, I'm reading right now. Oh, basically, okay. it, lets it, it makes it so that when you, if there is an encounter, you get to roll. Yep, so I'm going to roll a random encounter, and this determines if you see it beforehand. You can decide to either investigate or not investigate. All right, it so you answer. are in a forest. All right. All right, someone go ahead and roll a... I'll try to do it. It might make it easy. Ooh, 56. Ooh, what is this? It's something. Hmm. The question is... Actually, you all can investigate, so I'll let you decide if you want to do something. So as you're traveling, and you do move to the new hex, so you move here, bloop. Uh, I need to do some rolls to see if you see anything, so I want both Ryder and Vanagan to go ahead and roll me your scout rolls. Can I roll for my Scoot horse as well? Uh, sure. So this is mine. I'll push the scout. My horse is that. So none of us succeeded, but I'll push mine. Oh, Venigan ah. got a success. Oh, I forgot to do the thing. And uh -oh. I take one, I take one damage, but... And you also get one willpower. Yep. Which, can I use that to negate the damage? No. Ah, oh, I wish. Damn. Okay. Where do I write down willpower? It's on a country sheet. There's a space for it somewhere. One of the tabs. Where? Oh, found it. Right. So as you're traveling through the forest, you hear something in the distance. Toil and trouble, trouble and toil. A deep, guttural voice echoes across the land. The next moment, you see a large and muscular ogre dragging a sack. Something is kicking inside the sack, causing the ogre to bash the sack against the ground repeatedly. The movement ends immediately. Shut up, you! I said shut up! As this ogre is now dragging this sack behind it through the forest. It's starting to thin out a little bit as you're heading towards the open plains of Vend. But the ogre has not seen you. So. Uh, Hersk, on a yes. scale of 1 to 10, how terrifying is an ogre? Uh, it's fine. I have no idea. <laughs> Let's take a look. Oh! So, Jericho, <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10. Don't look at me. 
God damn it. You're supposed to be knowledgeable about this game. And you shoot them in the head a couple of times they die. Okay. <laughs> so let's do this. Let's let, what's a, what's the role of the good to size up an enemy? Um I think maybe insight. I'll make an insight roll. But to size up the ogre, um, I do want to have a stealth roll. Stealth roll. As you, yeah, so you, got, you, you can be kind of investigating this thing as it's traveling along the road. As you kind of are, so you can either investigate it or just move on the way or just go attack it. It's up to you. You have a choice now. Okay, so Grissin moves forward um, with one, two, three. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to spot that at all. <laughs> Fucking sneaky. Uh, yeah, he's not going to be able to... Just, yeah, there's no way he's going to be able to see that. So, uh, Grissin, you're able to get up to him? No, it would be an insight roll to see his general physique in his stats. Uh, it's not going to go well. Hey. Oh, we're looking at that. All right. So, this thing is large. Probably about seven and a half feet tall. Very, very muscular. This thing looks like it can take a beating. And the way it swung the sack with obviously human inside it against the ground, where the sack is no longer moving, shows this thing can probably punch very damn well. And has a bit of strength in it. In it's swing. I'm going to look at the, uh, the two behind me. <laughs> they, they, they kill it. it is weak. I'll kill it. Um, I think we should take it down and save the person inside the bag. Uh, yeah. I mostly I just they, want to kill it. Okay. They are all so weak. We will kill them both. Uh, so, ambush it? Obviously. Uh, eh, Gondir Deer just kind of looks at him like, that he's weak talk. I don't have holes in me. I do. I... Vanagon Deer just looks vaguely frustrated for a second, and then just says, that is weak talk. <laughs> um. So you can set up an ambush if you like. I think that's what we should do. Vanagon Deer will remember this. No. Grissom doesn't count. Vanagandir doesn't even really take part in the ambush. He just kind of stands behind a tree and waits for someone to tell him it's time to stab. So I guess we sneak it up on ambushing. Now here's the thing. If you sneak, if you ambush it, it does require whoever has the lowest sneak roll to be the roller. Whoever so has the one one? can I get relatively close, take a shot, and then bail when it sees me? No, so be prepared for the entire group. Well, so if, if I just go independent of them, if they go, I go like a range ahead of them. Uh, let's see. Hmm. So what's the difference between an ambush and a snake attack? So actually, we couldn't ambush because we have to get in front of him and then attack. Sneak attack is just so ambush is, is we're waiting for them to get there and we get yeah. to our to our <clears throat> sneak roll. But if I can just get close, take a shot at him, and then back off. Yeah, I'm trying to see though because you would never really ambush if you could just do the sneak attack. Well, ambush is better because it gives everyone plus two to their roll, but you have to be waiting ahead of them. Okay, so Sneak Attack only lets you do a free action. Okay. Yeah, well, it gives me a free action, yeah. So I'll, I'll uh, kind of eyes, hand signal, d disappear in the brush ahead of us, and go forward and try and take a shot at it in the head. Uh, what's the range you want to do this at? We'll put it this way. Um, We're going back to the Forest Glade map. So... I can hit him from short range. 
because I can get that means I can guaranteed get away. Because like if I get a short range, I can move when I shoot, and that gives me that puts me at long range, so he can't get close to me because I have to move short near too short. Correct? What did you decide? You all saw him. Well, is that how the distance bands work here? So oh, I'm, sorry. I'm, uh, what's the question? If I'm, in, if I'm in long range, he can't get. He cannot engage me. Unless he has some ridiculous movement way, yeah. Okay, I'll do that then. So I'll get to near range so I can get the best benefit. So I'm, I'm actually, we're going to get back to the map and we're going to do the actual zone right now. So we'll put him in here. So he is going to be... I don't think I have an ogre real quick. I don't think we have one. So we're going to use... So I guess put them, put them at distance, put me at short. You drop him on the map real quick. Here. Just an egg easy. Here is the ogre. Oh boy. So, I'll let y'all determine the, uh, the range bands you want to be from this guy. Uh, Vonnegundir wants to be close as hell. Well, don't break my sneak. Hey, that's your problem. If you break my sneak, I shoot you. As close as we can be, I guess, without doing that. Like, maybe we can be on opposite sides of the field. So, us two close people can be close. Well, it's going to be abstract. So, it's going to be short range from everyone. So, you're either going to go from uh, near to short or to long. So well, long, we're, tr so we're trying. Sorry, so this, oh, is, this is this is this near. The, see, this doesn't really work because you're the long range person, but we're the short range people. Yeah, so I draw him back that way I get two free shots on him, and then you close and kill him. And that means this is a good our, argument. It means wasting our turns doing nothing but fine. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's tactics, bro. Keep in mind, he can beat you to death in two shots, or I can just fill him full of arrows. Yeah. So I guess we we sit all the way back at long and and we wait. I'm just gonna go back to what I was doing. <laughs> hmm, that does seem kind of boring, but it's tactical. Uh, let's see. Hey, I mean, you're the one in a highly playing a survival game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a true. High, highly valued survival game. I'm gonna play as tactically as I can. Yeah. Especially with my nine stealth goblin archer sniper. I didn't think I read somewhere that sneak attack actually uses your sneaking skill, not your shooting skill. If I remember right. correctly. So I, my sneak is still crazy high. Yeah. And it will get, it get higher when I level up because I'll get the sneaky skill. It's sneaky talent. So I can shoot from cover. Okay. Initiative. Roll. Skidoosh. Where under the, uh, it's under tables? Yeah, additional cards. <clears throat> yeah. I like that too. Alright, and then it is gonna go. Oh, it's gonna last. Alright. So it got a one. Which means. Vanagan, Vanagan got the ten. Then. Ryder got the two. I got the two. No, uh, Grisini got the uh, seven. So it goes Vanagir, Grisin, Ryder, and then the Ogre. Am I seeing this wrong? I see Vanagir has a seven, and I got the two. No, don't look at the number. Look at the text. Oh, okay. So it, it randomizes the, the label. Every time we oh, do okay. it. That makes sense. <laughs> Alright, so, then again, it is on you. Actually, no. Oh, get no, you get, you get a free attack first. If we were going, you get a free attack. So, go ahead and do your tank. Okay. Um, so, I got my aim shot. Uh, is aim shot free for you? Oh, aim. I can't aim then. Is, is it yeah. one action? Yeah, it's, one, it's only one uh, action, yeah. Okay. And then, in that case, I can only. So do I get plus two to this? Is that correct? 
Uh, it's not an ambush, so it's a straight. Well, he just can't dodge or uh, parry. Okay. And he's just sneaking skill instead of uh. Okay, so here's my shot. That's three damage. Okay. Let's see what does this baddie have. I don't think he has any armor. He does not. So he just plop, arrow to the gut. Yeah, nice shot. And then I, as I shoot, I, it lets me move back a range band. Okay, and now it goes into yeah. order. I got his attention. <laughs> Okay, yes. so, for initial order, it now goes to Vanagon. Vanagon Deer's just gonna shift himself up. He's up your big boy. Shift himself up and... stay. Okay. I guess. Then it goes... Or, or can I move up two? You can move up two, because then that means... Yeah, he would have to move one and then close it. Move to engage, yes. Yeah. So I move up. Alright, then it goes to Grissin. And my sword's at, so we can <clears throat> So I'm at short range. Um, wait, no. What range yeah, am I at? You're short range. Okay, so I, I will aim and take another shot. Uh, this will give me a plus one. Sorry, there's so many windows. I wish that roll 20 could be spread across multiple displays. But you can stretch the entire screen across multiple displays. That's what I do. Okay. Um, and then I'll back up a range band. <laughs> and this goes to Ryder. That you can never catch me? <laughs> yeah, it's a little annoying. <laughs> I mean, we're doing nothing, I think. So. Oh boy, I think my thing just decided to break. Oh, your horse could probably get there really quick. Uh, oh my. My whole fantasy ground's crashed. Uh oh. Yeah. Good job, guys. I mean, weren't we staying back? Was. Oh no, you can go stab him now. I'm back okay. with you. Well. Once I get my fantasy grins back up, yeah, I'm gonna go stab him. Go for it. So you can get to the same range band of Vat Vat there, then. Mm-hmm. Cause... Oh, you can't ah. get up to the uh, ogre though. Well, because of my horse, my horse can move two range bands. Right, so you just two range bands would be the bad guy there. I couldn't, I couldn't even see because, well, how did he get to move? Because he doubled. Well, the move. horse can move. Then he uh, has actually, I haven't actually looked at that. Uh, just make it easy. I'll say the horse does his own action. Then you can sit there and uh, do your own actions on top of it. So you could. Would, would I, I'd assume the horse, though. that's how that works. That would make sense. Yeah, I would assume the horse can move. Then you have to have your own actions. Well, because. Yeah, well, because the... I didn't, actually, I didn't look it up, so I have to look it up. But I'm going to, just for, for the one shot, like I said, I'm going to go with it. I'll yeah. look it up right now. Also, you... even then, you wouldn't be able to... You wouldn't be able to... Well, because isn't move oh, a wait. fast action? So the horse could just take two fast actions. Yeah, to, to move, move forward. It did move four uh, zones. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. That's what I, I was assuming as well it would be that way. Doing I need, that. I need Might also be worth again. shooting it with your bow. <laughs> eh. As an alternative, I'd, I'd just point out... Done. I'd just point out, Ryder, that if you go there, uh, it can fast action move into melee with you, you and then crumb but you. I can't see anything right now. I need the map. Oh, okay. Well, you're... Ha! <laughs> there you go. If you, if, you move right up to the, if you move right up to the ogre, mm -hmm. you're going to get crumped, because it can fast action move into melee and then hit you. But if you move over to me, then it would have to use a uh, fast action to move up to us, and then sacrifice its action for a fast action to get engaged with either of us. And you can still shoot it with your bow. Yeah, so the See, sprint That was what we were confused right about too. earlier, and I didn't know how yeah. that worked, so okay, fine. Whatever. I roll less die, but whatever. Yes, but you also die less. <laughs> hey. One. Can the ogre dodge, or is it too thick? 
Oh, hmm, let's see. Can the ogre dodge? Uh, ogre can... I guess he could try? Let's see. That would be funny. He does not. Which actually means ogre dies here. Sorry, wolf boy. Okay, ogre's dead. Just Apparently, ogres are the offspring of dwarves and humans. I didn't realize that. Oh, fun. Ogres? Yeah, in this setting, they are. How did they get so big? <laughs> I don't know. Between dwarves and humans? Yeah. What the Why so fuck? big? <laughs> I guess the small genes just combined and negated each other? Uh, um, uh. Alright, so ogres aren't as tough as I thought they were, so that's good. Let's see. I mean, still pretty tough, I'm sure, but. Ah, okay, they're good against, uh, well, I don't want to say, I don't want to give it off, but yeah. Um. So ogres aren't the dumb people I also thought they were. Okay, I have to actually read more about the races here. Wolf boy, go check the sack. Don't kill it. What's in the sack? What's uh, in the box? Let's see. What was in the sack? This is a random encounter. Let's see what's that. Yeah. <laughs> you go to the sack and you see an individual. Who is currently, well, dead. Uh, for being smashed along the ground by the ogre. But it's an individual who is wearing a thick set of brown to a dirtyish red robes that's adorned with flecks and pieces of rusted metal. This is a rust brother. I assume we know about them because they're. Uh, you tell the history if you know about it there, Jericho, because I, I read briefly about them. Uh. Mm. Oh, uh, it's been a long time. Pretty much, they believe in the dual gods of Rust and something, oh, I can't remember the name. Um, but they're just, it's a religion. Rust Brothers are known to be able to, before the mist um, the red mist was in the landscape. They were actually able to go through the mist and not die. And it was actually initiation. Well, most of them didn't. Some didn't die. Most actually did. But it's initiation right among the Rust, Rust Brothers to actually go through the mist at nighttime and come back in the morning to pass kind of your qualification to become a Rust Brother. And they're a religion that wishes to. They believe that the Rust. The whole philosophy behind it is that the gods have decided to punish mankind because of what they're doing, and they believe that the people that can go through the mist are the ones that are worthy to pretty much stay alive still. And so, it's a, it's a religion. I don't seem to remember there being very nice people. No. Not too much. Alright, but this would be a moment for experience for those of you that did have some combat. And yeah, that would end the first part of the first quarter day. Are we, are we, we crumping this in another square? Can't, hex, can't we? Uh, you're in the force, so there's actually one hex for every... Uh, wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Yeah. Are we in a fight? Not anymore. You killed the ogre. What? That's, what? That's what I was saying. <laughs> they're kind of, they're weaker than saying. I thought. Wait, I... I thought I zoned out for a minute, and I thought all of this chatter was like resolving a rules. Co it just no. died. Yeah. No, it's been dead. That's what. That's how good ambush works. So, so I'll put it this way: if you didn't succeed on your scouting roll, it would have ambushed you guys, which would have been a Bonagundir. lot different. Bonagundir looks very upset. I mean, clever. I did five damage with the surprise attack and my next. Yeah, he does do a lot of damage. Okay, that's fair. I just didn't expect that. That kills you. Yeah, because he has no armor, so you can't really dodge anything. So yeah, uh, it died very, very fast because you ambushed it pretty much, or you're able to sneak up on top of it. All right, then. I just wasn't expecting that. <laughs> so, that was the first <laughs> quarter day. Um, yeah, 
Rush Brother. Um, I don't like Rush Brothers. Uh, Rush Brothers are the are the walk through Mist Boys. Yeah, they're shits. Uh, they are stronger than most. So, that was the first quarter, so we have the second quarter to go with now. Uh, we have a Rush Brother in front of us, so... I mean, yeah. Not that. Uh, Rush Brother's dead. Oh, he is? Yeah. Oh, that makes our lives way easier. I take oh. all of his yeah, stuff. Yeah, the ogre smashed him to the ground. Oh, I take his stuff. Oh, yeah. Take his things. He's got his robes. He's got a dagger. And we'll say... I take his dagger. Three I silver. Do you need no. a dagger? I have ambidextrous. <laughs> oh, then yes, you can have the dagger. <laughs> I need something that stabs people. I've got nothing. What did he have? What all did he have on him besides the dagger? Uh, three silver and the dagger. And his robes. That are bloody. I'm gonna take that three silver quietly. While mm -hmm. no one's looking at oh. arrows. Yeah, we actually need to have you do that every time you shoot arrows also. Uh, yeah, so your arrows will go down from a d10 to a d8. No, I'm gonna oh, we just. Don't I? Yeah. Just every time you every time you fire an arrow, you have to roll that. Quickly swipe that three silver. Because I'd imagine you know horse boys gotta like climb off, the goblins gotta run up. You know I'm right there. Just go up and be like, right. oh. Do a uh, stealth roll, anything. and then other people can do a scout roll to see if they see you. All right. Stealth. There is stealth. There is stealth. Oh, oops. Scoob it about. Okay. <laughs> that, that works too. Fuck off. Grison sees you try. Push. No. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> you just see Vanagandu just like. And my gold? My, my silver? I, I have a pocket full of wolf boy pebbles. I throw one at him. Put them back. A little rock hit to the back of the head. He's weak. You're weak. Strong. Oh, I take silver. Coin. Give coin. Yeah. <laughs> I love the two of them communicating. <laughs> just grunts and grumbles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Monogondir just like tosses one of the silvers into the mud in front of Grissom. Pick it up and I love it on my nose. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> All right, yeah. but as it is, I do need to end the game here. So it is the, it is, the it is that time. Run. I should have been again there twice. <laughs>